Hi, everybody! Hello! Finally, it is time! It's been a while since I've actually... Well... I haven't really seen anything much of the game. Other than, you know... Writing stuff. But... Welcome, everybody! My name is Lambda Delta, and we will be playing Protostar Twilight! This year. Well, it's been here for a long time, but I just waited for, you know, for a bit. Let people, you know, sink in, play, so there's not much spoilers for other people. I don't want to, like, rush it, you know. It doesn't need to be me doing it the first time. And also, thank you so much for the follow, Melona. Hello, welcome! And thank you again! Thank you again, Hoopa, for the re up. Oh my goodness. Seven months. I've been streaming for that long. <laughs> but again, guys, welcome. This will be really the first time. Like, controls. I did fix the controls, but I haven't tested them yet. But at least the movement for them actually, you know, it's, it's not that bad. Hold on. Let me switch the game real quick. See, I swapped the controls to WASD now. And yeah, actually working with the people were super fun. I've done a bit of advising sometimes, like you know, in private mostly. Like it's not like a huge thing, but I did give like tips and advice for these. But even though I never really like looked at the act script of this uh this game, like I do know the premise, but I kind of memory hold everything that has to do with it. I'm very immune to spoilers that way, you know? Even in anime, I actually memory hold this stuff. Like, ah, well, yeah, I know that what's gonna happen, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, enough dawdling. Let's start up the game, shall we? Yippee! Let's go! <laughs> Let's start up. Let's do normal first, you know? I mean, I could do hard, but let's do normal. Yeah. Please be aware that while this project is very loosely based on the lore of Four Stars English, it is purely fan-made and not intended to be considered canonical. Obviously. Content warning, fellas! If you guys are averse to these kind of themes, remember to... It's okay to click off the stream. It's fine. Okay. This game is best played with a controller. <laughs> uh... My controller is pretty much far away from me. Okay. We start up the game with... We received the quest five days ago. Some strange phenomenon is happening in a smaller town not too far away. There was, a no, there was no name on the request. It was simply signed... A friend. Now, some might say we shouldn't accept such a cryptic quest, but we had no choice. There were... There were way too good to overlook. It won't hurt to check out and see if we can handle it, right? Yeah, we broke as hell, boys! <laughs> We're taking up uh, very sketchy quests from random people. Man. <laughs> Being broke sucks! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Being broke sucks. Exactly. Just as I was saying. Oh my god, title draw. Protostar Twilight. Ooh, there we go. There's the credits for Act Zero. Thank you so much, Felix. He's actually the one who made the game. Along with you guys as well. Like, the people who are... They're like Nyx and Chen Jiju. Thank you guys so much. It is the sunny day in the higher mountains of Elysium. This mountain in particular is the mysterious peak at the heart of their quest. People complain of a strange sensation if they ever come too close to it. Oh no. It's the altitude change, huh? Just kidding. The mountain is named The Traveler. No one knows why. The name was whispered long before anyone lived here. Let me know if it's too loud, guys, okay? Oh, oops. What the hell? My bad. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, I think I don't think it's too loud. Okay. Just making sure. The name was whispered long before anyone lives here. 
After scouting, Shinri and Playan gave the green light that the area was safe. Noon, Tempest gathered near the cliffs to begin investigating. There you are. Playan and I had been waiting for you guys. All good? Did you get any information? Vesper is the first to arrive together with Axel. The rest of the team a few yards behind them. The scholar's expression is thoughtful as he thinks over Shinri's question. Hmm... It's a bit odd. Story's the same, but there are a few unique details. Some complained about the headaches the moment they got too close to the mountain. I swear it's the... It's the altitude change, people! Maybe they don't know about it yet. Some mentioned falling ill in a few days. <gasps> oh, now and a handful mentioned panic attack last night when they slept near the mountain. Crops take longer, they taste crap, all sorts of things, you know? Do you think that's the work of a pissed off witch or mage? Maybe. Them cursing a mountain isn't too unreal. Oh, oops. Uh, hold on. Certain types of dra dragons could do this, especially elder elemental ones. Or maybe the people that. Are just kind of paranoid? When Vesper asked, a few guys even started to cry before he finished his sentence. Oh my goodness. Fairy tales can be a great way to keep people under control, you know. Poss oh my god, mommy! <laughs> Possible but unlikely. Fairy tales don't just appear out of nowhere. There's always a reason. Magni walks up to Petal, who holds the phantom between his hands like a hamburger. What the hell? Phantom burger. I mean, to be fair, if there's like a Hollow Stars Ian cafe, like unironically, and a phantom burger would really sell. Like, imagine like those cat burgers where there's like a, uh, like the ears and then they have like a sesame seed for your face. That would be like phantom, but. I don't know what would be for the eye, though, but I think it would sell. No doubt. Sounds like people really do fear something they can't even see. Maybe a mournful spirit? Maybe a mournful spirit? The rest of the team follows close behind, in good spirits. I was thinking about that too, Flayon. But I can't sense any spirits roaming around here. Well, that's what the exorcists say. At least not the kind that would cause these problems. Hmm. Haka sighs deeply as Altair arrives with his phone in his hand, hastily typing something. What? There's a signal in the mountains? In insanity. Usually they don't have any. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, that just means we have to figure out ourselves. Oh my god, this is Skyrie's art style, right? This is Skyrie's! Oh! It's very distinct. I like it so much. I love I love Kyrie's art style. I love the coloring the most. I think it, I think that's the most distinct part of Kyrie's art style. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty. Ready to get the job done? Altair points at Axel. Axel, can you check out the area near the cliff with Haka and Playon? Sure thing, boss. No problem. Ah. I wonder if this is Zeus. Like, this... Is this model from Tzu? Because, like, some coloring detail kind of reminds me of Tzu, but I'll figure it out later. You know what? It's really nice that we all got together and worked on a game. Because, like, it's so nice to, like, oh my god, I know this person's art. <laughs> like, it's there. Ah, it's real! Yes, exactly. People banding in together to make, like, content like this is very nice. I do believe, like, I know I keep saying this all the goddamn time, but I think Tempuras are extremely talented people. They just need to find the right medium to express themselves. And, you know, they don't have to compare other people, like, with them, you know? That's what I think Tempuras needed. Like, for example, Hakafe kinda unearthed some actual bakers and cooks, and they were made to, you know, and they were able to express their creativity through cooking and stuff. So yeah, everybody is talented in their own way. 
Anywho. <clears throat> Axel jokingly salutes, then pulls both Haka and Fleon by the wrist towards the cliff. Everyone fe everyone hears Fleon complaining as the group leaves. Oh, average Fleon. Oops, let me get off the cursor. I just realized. Little Altair was like peeping. Hmm, I want to check out that section over there. Maybe Shinri and Fleon overlooked something. Magni, Betel, would you do me the favor of joining me? Oh my god. Real. Sure thing, Vespi. Come on, Phantom, let's check some stuff out. Oh, Phantom is so cute. Evil cute guy. No problem. Don't spread out too much, right? This is unknown territory. Yeah, yeah, I got it. No splitting up. Man, what do you think this is? A horror game? <sighs> Somebody broke the fourth wall on this. I'm sure it's not a horror game, but... You'll never know. It's, it's like saying, Man, what's the worst that could happen? And then the worst could happen. Don't say that. You're gonna jinx yourself. Snorting, Magni waves at Altair, leaving him with, the, with Shinri, who struggles to hide with a smile. What are you smiling at, huh? Nothing, just enjoying the moments we spend together as a guild. <laughs> Nor! Do we want to check out the other area? Yeah, let's see if we find something that will help figure this out. Ooh, okay. Three hours pass, no one finds anything that will help figure this out. <laughs> Bruh. Fleon joins the team with his face puffy and his arms crossed. Oh, Fleon. Nothing. We found nothing. This is getting annoying. I'm getting the feeling this is all just a huge joke. Understandable. Well, we should continue the search. Do we really have to? I mean, we've been searching for hours and all we found are stick and stones. We just need to look harder, man. And Phantom probably is too, right, Phantom? Bill suddenly looks freaked out. You good? Did you see a ghost or something? Phantom isn't here. He was... I'm sure I took him with me when we headed back. I remember him walking next to you when we returned. Maybe he found something? Hang on, don't worry. I can find him. Just give me one second. Lion raises up a hand and draws something in the air, creating a screen out of nothing. Oh, is he tracking? Ooh. After he types a few buttons, a tiny red dot appears on the screen. <gasps> GPS, let's go! They put a tracking chip on Phantom's ear. Probably. You know, like most cats do? In the United States, anyways. You guys are crazy. I wish I, I can put like a tracking on my cats too. They wander everywhere. There he is. Just around the corner. Like a two minute away like a two minute walk away from us. Near the cliff. What the hell is Phantom doing all there alone? Guy it doesn't matter. Let's go get him. Well, maybe he really found something and he's waiting for us. Well, time to pick the doggy up. With Flan in the lead, Tempest makes the raid back to Phantom. Or find him, anyways. Hmm... What's with the face, Haka? Honestly, I don't know. There's something weird in the ear. Hi, Milky! Hello! Welcome! Hi, hi, hi! I'm playing Protostar Twilight. It's the game that Tempurus made. I'm also a part of the... Uh, I'm also part of this, like, just writing stuff. Get up for my... No! Milky, no! Maybe. Who knows? Weird, like a corruption beast, maybe? Now that you mention it, yeah, man, that's super specific. How did you know? Because I'm getting the same feeling. Axel, he's having his dingo senses. Ah. Their conversation ends the moment they finally find Phantom. He sits near the cliff, staring into the abyss. Hey, Phantom, there you are, little guy. Gently, Bell picks Phantom up, holding him like a sack of potatoes. Like putting him in his one arm? Oh my god. 
Hey, uh, Altair? Yeah? Can we go home? You good? I know you're not necessarily the biggest fan of quests like this, but... I'm worried about Phantom. He's been acting strange ever since we got close to the cliff there. I mean, shouldn't you guys listen? Isn't he like an eldritch abomination? I think he knows something. It's like he's not really here, you know? I'm worried this area... This area is having an effect on him. Will you allow me to observe Phantom? To ease your mind? Vesper carefully approaches Phantom in Bethel's arms, but stops midway. Oh? Just then, he turns his head to the left, glaring into the woods. <gasps> what? What? Someone's coming. They're close by- I see them right there. <gasps> Nyani? Between the dark shadows of the trees, a hooded man emerges. What the fuck? From beneath the hood, they they can make a they can make a, a cold dead smell as he stops. Almost immediately, Altair moves in front of his team and holds his gun saber at the ready. Woo! You go, Altair, protect us! Woo! Uh, I'm totally not scared. <laughs> Who are you, and why are you here? That was you, wasn't it? Quest? Did you send us that quest to come here? Tito, thank you so much for the follow, hi! Hello, hello, I'm just playing Protostar Twilight. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm already in this part, apparently. Who's this mysterious person? Oh crap, it's a trap? But he's all alone. He can't beat us all, right? Um... I don't know about that, buddy. I wouldn't test that fate too much, Axel. Stay on your guard. See, Vesper knows everything. Sasagaji chan, yay! I wanna try this game soon too. Do it! Do it! Play it! They currently updated a new patch for this game. It's 1.03 uh, right now. Please uh, install it in the uh, itch.io website. Here, um, I need to actually pin that so you guys can actually play it as well. Uh, Proto Star Twilight. There we go. Um, I'm gonna pin this message here. This... Unable to pin what? Nyani, that's strange. What, what, well, yeah, that's this page. They already have, like, a... A patch update for this. So, in case that you have planned to stream this game, remember to check out the page often as there might be... A, a bug fixes for the game in general. So, yeah. Ah, you got it, Gramps. Right back at you. Of course. Who do you take me for? Oh my god, he's gonna pull off his, um... His... His spear. He's gonna pull this guy to death. Oh no. Enough dilly-dallying. I've waited long enough for your arrival. Now it's time to take action. Oh my god! What's your deal, bro? You got a problem with us? Silence, clown! <gasps> I mean, honestly, he's kind of spitting facts. It's time for battle, not meaningless, meaningless chatter. Clown, I'm a jester. Altair holds his arm up in front of Bell, silencing him. Why don't you just tell us what you want? The robed man scoffs at that and lifts a hand in front of him to point at Altair. No, I don't think I will. It's far too early for that. Oh no, he can't spoil him. Early? Yes, early. For the time being. Why don't you all have a bit of fun with one of my pets? Pets, ahead. <laughs> a deep roar reverberates through the air, and the ground beneath the voice begins to quake. Uh, I'm not sure I like the sound. Agreed. Maybe it's time to retreat? I don't think so. Come to me, my puppet. <gasps> what do you mean? Is this, is this Octavio? Just kidding. I'm just, I'm just pulling out of my ass. <laughs> a billowing cloud of pure black smoke seeps from the ground and gathers behind the rogue man. <gasps> oh, CG! CG real! The CG! This 
looks so good. And what the fuck is Battle doing? Get out of there. Show them your power. Crush them. What the hell? The smoke coalesces, taking a large demonic corporeal form. Ready up. Let's show this guy by the... <laughs> Let's show this guy the power of Guild Tempest. Let's go! Hell yeah, you got it, boss man. Oh, there we go. So this game basically is like inspired from, you know, Fire Emblem. And these are units. Altair. actually wrote this description. It's very concise and brief, but... I was in charge of this. Mostly it's Magni and Altair, really. A potion made by Magni! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, real! It's, ma it's Ma. There we go. Oh, oops. Hold on. This is the one. <laughs> they actually have it in the game. <laughs> Long range only. Okay. Dog treats. Chain. Double spear. Jerry says hi. Holdable bow. Archer support. Construct magic. Okay, so this is the tome. looking through the stuff so I can, you know, like, I'll, I'll know the units because like, like I said, I, d I don't really know much. I had to add the all other item descrip item descriptions. I told you guys to keep asking you guys what do, what what do you need? Like, I would definitely help out. I've been bothering Felix and Faye for this. Okay, um, I guess we could save. Altair is level 6, okay. And then, I guess we can fight... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, wait, that's not it. Manage. Convoy, formation, status... Uh, I don't mind. But I think... Is Altair... Yeah, Altair seems to be really far. I'm not, I'm not really used to this kind of... Okay, so it's not really by the field. Okay, that's weird. I'm new to this kind of like, uh, this engine, so I really don't know how to swap stuff. I'll just fight anyways. Start the chapter. It's so giant. It's so gigantic. First battle jitters, eh? That's fine. We'll take it one step at a time. First things first, you gotta learn how to move. Okay, seems simple enough. How do I do that exactly? First, click on the unit you want to move, and then drag yourself to where you want to go. Then press the confirm button. Try a straight line. It should look something like this. That was easy. Can I use this with other guild members too? Yeah, it's because like, maybe the crit is too strong. Sometimes, you know, in Fire Emblem... Even... If you outnumber them, it depends on the, um... The number rolls, and if that enemy rolled a crit, no matter how strong you are, especially in early game, you'd probably get decimated. Oh my god! Hi. Okay, now you can move. You can go for an attack when you're next to an enemy. Make sure to observe your opponent carefully before you attack. Okay, so observe the enemy. Wait. What's with the math? That's where there's a lot of numbers. That's your combat stats. Crit, attack, and all that JC nerd stuff. You can look it up later in your journal. Just focus on the big number at the top. Looks big and important. Yeah, I made it into a gauge. <laughs> it's not a number. Looks big and important. That number shows how likely it is you'll hit the enemy and... Okay, um... I assume... That this part of the game, it shows you an attack, and there should be like here a stats here on the screen, right? There should be the stats on the screen, and then it shows the multiplier, the multiplier, right? 
Okay, so um, I'll write it down here in the notes section. Okay, don't worry. I'm not taking this a, like as a, you know, as an insult or anything. But it's it's I've actually been um, a debugger and a bug tester for a lot of games. So okay, no screen, no no screen at the tutorial. Should be showing times to a uh, uh, multiplier when you engage with the enemy. Okay, don't worry. I, I already wrote it in my notepad. This should be in around tutorial. Tutorial. Just so you know. Okay, tutorial mode. A screen at the tutorial should should be showing multiplier when you engage in the enemy. Okay. And battle option when you engage with the enemy. Okay. The higher your speed, the more attacks you can do. Yes, exactly. So in fine sorry, in Fire Emblem, if you have a higher speed, you do have the chance to attack twice. As long as your speed is higher than the enemy, you have the chance to do it. But there are specific weapons that does um, multiple attacks regardless of your speed, which they are called the brave weapons. I'm not sure if this game has the brave weapons, but I would assume that there might be modifiers that might help you do that. But for now, um, that's basically the basics of uh, Fire Emblem. Okay, there we go. Oh, dear! He's so cute. That's a great... That's a good blow. But did you know that you can deal more damage? More damage? Really? If you're lucky, you can catch the enemy off guard with a critical hit. If you attack right now... We've got a couple more people to murder, so... That was awesome! My turn. Watch this. Wait, Dez! No, Dez, wait! Need healing. Oh my god. You should be in the back line, silly. Wait, don't I have a potion with me? Vesper, where did you put the potions? Red or green? Greens for healing, reds for stat boosts. You'll find them in your bag. Hope this helps. There we go. Mom, you shouldn't charge in. You already died before. Thanks, man. Good job. One last thing. Terrain effects. Terrain like grass and other stuffs can help you in battle. Okay. So, in... <laughs> in Fire Emblem... These... These places... The woods... And also these bushes... You can actually have... Um, an advantage of it. For example... Uh, the woods w will grant you more dodge. For, like, around for... For 20%? Uh, well, I think the shrub does the 20% and then the woods is like around 30. And for... There will be bastions or like castles where you can like... Uh, stay. And it tends to heal you. And you also have defense up in those specific buildings. So, while... You have like these terrains that you can go to, you really have to do it. And if you feel like the enemy is strong, you just have to beat it with a weaker character. And then you make them lead to the specific area and then you gang you gang up on them. What you need is you pull strong enemies one by one. It might be a slow strategy, but it's way more better than making you lose your you know, your your team. Especially if you're playing classic and I guess nightmare or insane difficulties. That's where you have to be more careful with your um, choices of movements. For example, there you go. For example, the grass helps you avoid hits. You can find the rest of the nerd stuff in your journal later. Thank God I'm a fucking nerd, right, Vesper? <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Vesper. Review useful information through the journal command on the battle menu. There we go. So this is basically how Fire Emblem looks. Oh wait, hold on. I'm not supposed to use the mouse, right? Um, hold on. 
Oh, this is so cute. This is woven fates, right? Oh my goodness, that's 21. What the hell? Okay, who does the healing? What the fuck? Okay, attack. Chain. That guy hits way too hard for his home good. Holy shit. Okay, so we have to do range on this dude. Question here, okay? Is the are are the sprites not included in the tutorial? Like, are they not implemented in the in this type of battle? Because I did see custom sprites for them, but I'm not really sure if is this an exception? Like, is this like a just a testing? I guess. Perform. Okay, now that's kind of. Sprites weren't complete in time. Okay. So maybe in the next patch, you could probably do so? And ended up taking too many frames. Aww, that's too unfortunate. I think you can still catch them later on. I don't think it's, it's necessary to like, really rush it. It's, it's okay. I don't think that they would mind, really. Okay, hold on. Item. Does this debuff? Syringe. Boost potion. Okay, healing potion. Hold on. Oh my goodness, that perform is a party wide thing. Is this only for the tutorial, by the way? Just, just, just to be sure. It, is this intentional, by the way? Okay, so perform is like Azura's dance, right? Yeah. See. Oh wait, never mind. I was like, that shocked me. Because like, I saw like a, a whole wide and I was like, what the hell? Okay, don't worry, Axel isn't affected. I was like, shocked. No worry. The, 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 the effect confused me because like, it looked like it covered the entire party. Okay, um, item. Healing potion, Oh. Yeah, I think... I think you should use the heal animation for this. Like a singular one, so it's not so confusing. That, sh that scared the shit out of me, actually, too. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. It's kind of strange, because, like, I think the dragon has a range. Scripted loss. Guy. Okay, there we go. So he's weak to bows. Got it. Okay. Can you do range too? Okay, you can. Okay, maybe he just has a high debuff uh, resistance. Okay, I got it. Okay, don't worry. Okay. 
somebody's probably gonna die. Beat him up. Okay, there we go. Go, Haka. Yay! <laughs> I tire of this. Please, I'm sober. Wow, what a sore loser. Anyways, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm kind of like... When I do, like, games, like, strategy games, like, Fire Emblem, I tend to, like... Observe way too much. Damn right it is. You're going down, buddy. Yeah, no place for sore loser. He dodged it. I don't think you understand the situation you're in. Why don't you show them? The dragon roars fiercely, paralyzing the entire guild and forcing them to their knees. Beneath them, the ground begins to quake again, but this time cracks begin to form in the dearth. <laughs> no, please do... Okay. Well, it's because like this. In, in terms of games... Um, also because like, uh, I, I guess I'm also a part of this too, so I want to like... Help out as much as I can. And also because like, I, I'm really used to debugging a lot of like games. I crack them open, even to the very base point, like the actual code of the game. I did that with Doppelganger, or attempted to. But they really sealed the code out of it, so I couldn't really like um, fix the um, I couldn't fix the steam steam uh, I couldn't fix the steam achievement issues except for the battle one. I did manage to find a workaround on that, and I did make a um, I did make a what you call that um, a guide for steam in order to unlock battles. Uh, broken achievement. I'm not really sure if the mana sans have the time. I did submit the bug report on the email, but I don't think they have the time to really fix uh, the issue. Then again, um, it's not really a big deal. Achievements isn't really anything. It's like more cosmetics thing, but if I see that's literally 99 out of 100 achievement, it drives me insane, okay? was ready to literally rip the game apart just to connect the, the the call for the steam achievement and the game but obviously they didn't want us to do that so uh, we'll be patiently waiting and waiting for that time to come suddenly the dragon takes flight hovering several feet above the ground i know they will i know i will okay sorry he's like nah i'd win before anyone can blink, the dragon drops its full weight back into the cliffside. Okay. Altair can do nothing but watch helplessly as the cliff shatters, dropping them into the deep chasm. And at F zero. That was nice! Great job, guys! Okay. Now what? Okay, I need to think back. Okay, this is Act 1, Act Rider by Nyx, and also by Nyx for the conversations. Thank you guys so much for your hard work. Artist by Lumis Kuro. Great job, great job. After falling down the hole, Altair's consciousness have fallen deep into the ether. Five more minutes. Ah, <laughs> he's so cute. Unfortunately for the leader of Guild, Tem uh, for Tempest Guild, the room full of crystal is too cold and bright. His body awakens with a jolt. The cold finally is getting to him. Where am I? Groggily, Altair stands up and wanders through the dungeon. On top of the world! Hi, Shabby! Hi! Welcome, welcome! Some of the shadows come from the light armor, where others from the distant crystals. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome! I'm playing for the Star Twilight. I'm also deep. Uh, I'm also probably. Uh, looking for bugs in the game as well. Altair's armor glows even more. More signs to be careful. However, Altair doesn't expect a human-looking shadow lying a few feet away. The shadow is thin and looks like it has a lot of garments on it. Altair goes for a closer look. Wait, is that who I think it is? <laughs> What happened? 
It has an official Twitch category? Nobody told me that! Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me change that re real quick. You guys, Proto Star. Oh my god, you guys never told me. Okay, there we go. I already updated it. I updated it now. I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't know. I was trying to look for it, but I couldn't find it. Or at least I don't know what the category this game was. But it's okay. I finally got it. <laughs> I finally got it. My bad. I'm sorry. You should have told me earlier, Hoopa. Oh my god, I didn't know. <laughs> no. It's okay. To the Twitch category, not the dead. Yeah, don't worry. I got it updated now. It's a great Magni Desmond. Unconscious and beating, but the alchemist nonetheless. Mommy, get up! Alter grabs a green potion, letting a few drops of liquid touch Magni's. <laughs> <coughs> Magni, can you hear me? I'm literally... This is literally me going insane. I'm so sorry to the people who are like watching and just like expecting a chill stream. I'm sorry, my Fujo... My Fujo uh, energy is taking over my current mindset. <laughs> oh my god, real! Quick, kiss him awake, Altair! <laughs> wake up the Sleeping Beauty! Dude, wake, Altair, where are we? Where's the others? I don't know that either. This you can do right now is keep exploring. Bruh. <laughs> this is so real. Real, real, real. The fact that the alchemist is still in pain doesn't help, nor the shadows growing behind them. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling about what? Shadow monsters. Wait, what? Shadow monsters, please. Tell me you got extra potions in there, Altair. Uh... I don't know. Maybe we fell that off? The shadows have the two guild members cornered. They have to fight them off. Oh no! We gotta fight people! Oh no. <clears throat> okay, let's manage. Okay, we did restore some healing potions, I guess. Formation... Status, use item, okay. Uh... And there we go, finally. Victory conditions, everyone is defeated. Wait, what? I wasn't done, but okay, I guess I, m I mistook that. <laughs> I wanted to check, I wanted to check. <gasps> Akashi! Thank you so much for the raid! Hi! Hi Akashi, hi everybody, hi raiders. I'm playing Protostar Twilight. Oh my good oh my goodness, thank you so much for the follow, Space Chaser, Akashi too, and Hubi. Hello, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> hi. Okay, um, let's see. Scorpion. And I'm just gonna put their Okay, I can't I can't really just click on everybody, can I? Stinger. Okay. Hi, hi everybody. Hello raiders. Welcome. Okay, I'm just checking stuff out. Um yeah, I don't think Magni should even be fighting in that range anyway. Yeah, the boys are so cute. I like their sprites. They're so silly. Okay, so... Why are there too many ranged... There, there are too many ranged enemies. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I think Stinger ain't that too bad. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. There's this... Mandragora is so cute. The rat boss in this game, for real, for real, true. But there's like a there's like a treasure up there. When I see treasure, I tend to like tunnel vision, anyways. Fifteen. Okay, 
right, let's just try this anyway. What? Oh yeah, he dodged that. Let's go. Dodge tank of the guild. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, you can talk? Hi. How are you holding up, Des? Any injuries so far? Oh my god, he's so worried. Stop it, you guys. You're putting brain words in my head. No, nothing. And even if I had been injured, do you think I, the great Magni Desmond, wouldn't have healed my wounds by now? Ah. But yeah, but you kind of died last time, so... Alright. That's good then. Well, tell me if you get hurt, although, right? He's so worried! <laughs> sorry. It's it's my Fujo uh, speaking, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I got it, you big worry ward. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's get rid of the thing and find our boys. That they buffed each other. So real. Tell your mom I'm gonna be a little late tonight. <laughs> Tell your mom I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Second, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Some paths are more dangerous than the others. Be ca be, be cautious. Oh, okay. Uh, message. Okay. It's okay. That's so fucking funny, though. What the fuck? <laughs> it's gonna be late. Okay. The message. I'm gonna check the. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I feel like... I left one of those tanks again. Awareness? Time? Pain? What's this feeling in my stomach? When did all these crystal shards start to grow on me too? What did Leader do to me last time I saw him again? Where did he go? Oh, that way. I heard them. My friends are back. Did Leader figure out how to get them out? I hear the echoes of the voices again. I've seen their forms walking through the caverns. How do I remember? I have to keep it together. I have to warn them. Leader has many ideas now. His mind seems to be lost? Or has it changed? He isn't as gentle-tempered as he used to be. He wants to dominate and gain control over everything. He became the boss of this place. Oh, holy shit. Journal of Tempest! Hell yeah! The journal has been updated. Okay. Well... <clears throat> is this like route the enemy? Just to make sure. Objective. Okay, it is route the enemy. Okay. Well, that's gonna be fun. Corrosive crystals. Negative death. Okay. Oh, this one at least gives me stat bonuses at least. So I'll just stay there. Yeah, come to me, dumbass. Okay, once he's there, I could move. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, you stay there. Definitely hit me there. They're ranged, so okay. Hey, sup, silly. Just to make sure. Oh, that's a crit right there. Oh my goodness. He got pissed by the mandragora. He didn't want to hear it scream. No screaming in this household, for sure. Okay, they're not moving. What's, what's wrong? Cat got your tongue. Ooh. Level up. Mm, sounds like a good stat 
spread, HP, skill, speed. Definitely need, need more speed. Oh, luck. I think he needs the luck anyways. This guy is not lucky. Alright. Okay, so it seems okay. They, there's not much enemies that's coming towards us, so I don't think we need to stay on the... Uh, that little uh, plaque over there. Okay, so they probably move in. There's the trigger. You know what? I can just like do this. 19. Crit 26%. Pretty high. Ouch. Okay. Is he even a magic user? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I see the stats now. 23. Buck 19. Okay. He dodged it! Great job. Ouch. Okay, well, that's not good. I don't think you could stand another one, though. Okay, hold on. Um. Yeah. We need to back up for a bit. Uh, that's definitely not good. Okay. That's fine. As long as he doesn't get hit too hard. I should have healed. Okay, that's fine. Consequences of my action. Uh, attack. No. The thing is, if, if he kind of... Four, four is fine. I think he can stand that real quick. Gun saber. Stinger hit is 70. Okay. There we go. Got that grid up. Ouch. Somebody controlling. Because <laughs> they didn't want to. Make sure Alter's, uh, I mean, Magni's dead. Okay. Uh, test? Crystal record. Okay. There we go. Let's keep going. Item. Ah, this is his, uh, melee weapon, I think. What's this? Stop boosting item. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Healing crystals. Plus death. Plus rest. Okay, uh, just to make sure. Okay, it is... It is his, um, range, I guess. I'm not sure, but let's do it anyways. Got a couple more people to murder yourself. Oh, he crit? He crit crit. Holy shit. Well, guys, um, that's it. <laughs> that was a close one. You think so? If you didn't have those healing potions, we'd be done for. Yeah, maybe. The two guild members walk deeper into the cave as the wall closed in every step. A blue blob appears to Nibra as they get out of one of the narrower sections. Oh my god! It's us! It's the little guys! Cool tear. Hello. If it is about me being too tight, I swear. Huh? Ayo? Altair, did you see that blob? The blob in question is a small slime, looking like an elf ventures with small spike. <laughs> I thought this game was a fighting game, but it's just an almond dating simulator. Yeah, they're having a, a, a date with... Uh, they're having a date in a, in a crystal cavern, you know? <laughs> the blob... Uh, okay. If you got Vestis in the Belfry, Altair turns and sees the blue slime. Oh, that blob. It looks friendly. Indeed. The blob is cute. 
it keeps staring at Altair, as if waiting for something to happen. The little guy looks safe enough. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get too close. Okay. Magni still has his weapons ready in case it attacks. And Altair slowly starts singing. Oh, It's smiling! Oh my gosh, he's singing like Edamame. And they're like, go, go, those sick raps, boss man. <laughs> Keep singing to it. If you could get calm enough, you could take the little guy as a companion. Hell yeah, taming pets as we go. We can do that? It's in the journal, remember? Altair keeps singing to little slime, and after he asks if it's one to join them, it smiles and makes a blob like sound. Boop. Boop, boop. I'd like to come with you guys. Oh, I got a beach. Yeah, you're one of the first people who got um the you know the founder, I guess. I think you subbed to me, like you actually subbed to me in a paid way. And then, you got one of the Founder Badges. So, yeah. Oh my god, thank you so much! I love you too, Milky! I guess we're bringing it to him with us then. We could either put him in your pack, or we could have him, have him out and about. I think he'll like it more out and about, won't you? There we go! Our intrepid member keeps going further in, not knowing what could happen next. Maybe their little slime companion would prove useful. End of Act 1. Great job. That was... that was fun. Okay. There we go. We're finally in Act 2. Act Writer by C. Nath Sander Conversation Writer, Al Song Artist by Sky Limit <gasps> Sky Limit! Oh my god, Wimmy! Wimmy Mention! Wimmy Mention! Banzoi Naka There he is Hicker <laughs> Where is this? Where am I? Haka sits up Rubbing his sore back, looking around, taking in stagnant, the stagnant air. It's cold. The only light coming from the iridesc iridescent, strange crystal lining the walls. Ugh, my head is killing me. Did I fall down somewhere? Where are the others and how... Oh. He stands, he nearly crumples again from a crippling sensation. Oh my god, he got a headache! He hit his head, guys! It's just like what he said in the last Zasu, he hit his head and he fell down. Oh my god. Haka! It's as if the darkness outside is trying to crawl inside him, pushing and pulling at his body. A fleeting, a fleeting image flashes behind his eyelids. A beast cloak and black feathers and so, so hungry. Oh no. Oh my god, CG? Let's fucking go. It's pretty nice. I like I like how you guys did the CGs. It's so good. Just as, as the pressure becomes unbearable. Threatening to bruise his skin and crush his bones. It fades somewhat. Still there, but a little more tolerable. Akin to a small tension headache. The lingering hate, the lingering ache leaves Haka more irritated than the perturbed. Okay. Damn it. I need to pull myself together. I don't have time for this. I need to find the others. Well, that's. Beto! Shinri? Playon? Is anyone there? Nothing answers. There's only the darkness, the ache from before, and a horrible silence. Belatedly, it occurs to him that even if the others were here, he wouldn't be able to see them because it's dark. Ha! <laughs> Perhaps supplies a voice in his head. They are here, but they can't hear you. He ignores it and stubbornly tries again. Where are the homies at? A few hours pass, at least to according, 
At least according to Haka. Okay. Guys? Hello? Altair? Magni? You there? Yeah, he's calling for my mom and dad. His voice falters. The heaviness from before weighs on him, drowning, drowning out the repressive ache. Axel? V Vesper? Anyone? But nobody answers. Oh, Haka, no! No! He's so lonely! Find him! Maybe he'd been the only one to fall down here. And the others are on the surface looking for him. He thinks about their faces and somehow they're all... They look so sad. Maybe they're down here. Somewhere in the dark, unable to hear him. Lying cold and lifeless. Oh no! The dark thoughts taking over his mind. Don't do it, Haka. No. No. I can't accept that. I won't. I won't. Oh, yeah. He he's starting to feel lonely. He's going to he's going to go insane. No. He continues to walk. He has to get out. If they are gone, then they want him to live. They'd all want him to be safe because that it's the kind of friends that they are. Ugh. They do. They really do be like that. His eyes burn. And his heart pounds wildly in his ears. He doesn't want this to be the end. Oh my god, Haka, it's fine. Hang in there, buddy. He's so distracted. He almost doesn't fear hint, faint sounds coming up ahead from in the cavern. Huh? Thank free. His ears are sharp. He listens more intently. Strange. Can't seem to... One voice, a soothing, soothing baritone voice with distinct rising and falling inflections, and then... See, we could always... Guile. A second one. One is spacey and rumbles pleasantly in the air. A swelling feeling rises in his chest, filling Haka with joy, and he begins to sprint. He knows those voices. Ah, uh, It's them! The old man! Old man Yaoi! Vespi Shinri! Huh? Haka? Where did you... Whoa! Haka nearly collides with the two older men jumping around in sheer elation. Oh my god, he's like a baby! He's like a, a, a lost kid, like, from a store. And he's like, Mom, Dad, where are you? And then he finally found his mom and dad. He's like, Mom and Dad, I missed you. He'd be like that kid. Cute. Haka! I'm glad you're okay. Is it just you? Yeah, it's just me. I couldn't find anyone else. It's okay. We were also trying to find the others. But we've run into some issues. Haka looks at Vesper, who seems frustrated. Teeth worrying at his lip. Huh? Like what? Well, for one, this place is crawling with monsters. Strange ones too. Like I've never seen. Before. And Shinri's been having solo... Oh, and Shinri has been having to solo most of him. I want to help besides just healing, but... Vesper lets out a quiet, mournful sound. That happened to me once. Hidden in a clothes rack too, well... Yeah, well... You know, that's better than getting lost forever, right? And then you have to go to the adoption center because, like, you lost your family or something. That happened before by so from someone else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vesper lets out a quiet, mournful sound. I lost my spear. It must have fallen down... It must have fallen down someplace I can't reach. I can find it anywhere. It was my favorite one, too. Oh, so is this the one where they actually split the spear? I did know that, um... He got the spear from Haka or something. Given how lovingly he cherishes he cherishes your spears. Hello, excuse me. This is indeed a tragedy. <laughs> Milk, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> no horny bonk bonk. You know what? I'm actually gonna make a uh a three sets uh a three more emotes. Maybe I should change uh, I should swap one for a bonk for you. I need to bonk you. Bonk, bonk, milky, bonk, bonk. 
Shinri gives Vesper a sympathetic pat on the shoulder. Hmm, well... Haka pulls out his dual spears, separating them. He offers one side to Vesper. Here, you can use this one. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't. This is yours. What if I... Really, Vespi, take it. It's fine. Take it. Aww, it's so cute. The lore. It's here. An earlier image of his skilled maid lying still and glassy-eyed flashes through Haka's head. He shakes it away and offers the spear more insistently. Besides, I think I'd feel better too if you had a way to defend yourself. Vesper hesitates for a second before taking the spear gently. Oh, he didn't want to like hurt the spear. You know, Haka actually takes care of his spear, so that's kind of cute. Very adorable. I really like. Give me a moment. Uh, I'm just gonna check out some message real quick. Okay, there we go. Got it. Thank you so much for waiting. He holds it almost reverently, like he's handling Haka's first. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Like, oh, his baby. It's both funny and very sweet. And Haka chuckles internally at how serious he's being. Aww. Thank you, Haka. I promise I'll take good care of her. Yeah, considering... I think... Haka kind of acknowledges that his spears are like... Girls, I think. There was like a... A gijinka of his spears. And it was like two hot women. And he was like... In between together of those spears. And I was like... Awuga. <laughs> I was like, Awuga. <laughs> he just gave birth. Yeah, that's true. He just gave birth. What the fuck? Crazy. Item lost. Double spear. Item get. Single spear. There we go. He's now single. And just as that hand of a curse, all three of them are startled by a horrifically loud squeal. What the hell? Beside him, Shinri looks around before zeroing in on something off in the distance. He points at a shambling, approaching mass. Look over there! It's a bunch of monsters! And in front, that looks like a... A boar? Well, I think Vesper has a... Uh, experience handling with boar, so I think it, he'll be fine. Ahead, leading a herd of other creatures, a sizable boar steps out of the darkness. It snorts and lets out a loud, distorted growl. Out of its body juts several iridescent crystals. Oh, it's a crystal boar! It's instinctively, the three bring out their weapons, and the boar roars and charges. Here they come! Boom. Oh, that's... a lot of monsters. Holy shit. Okay, unit. Single spear. Foldable wall. Okay, this is gonna be... Okay. Let's save up. Not that. Mm. You know what? Let's just fight. Okay, defeat the giant boar and everyone is defeated. So it's just basically defeat the boss. Not necessarily all of the slimes. Oh my god, it's the Vestis! I guess we do have some signs of life down here after all. Eh... I guess that's an interpretation for this thing. It's no beast that we can handle. It's no beast that we can handle, though. Whatever it is, it's definitely not friendly. Okay, let's see. Um... There's a lot of things here. I wonder if I can actually do it. Can I? I'm not in a hurry anyway, so let's just go down. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's going towards us. Come on. Oh my god, it's you, Milky. It's the Vesties. Okay. Uh, there we go. 
Why are they ta Oh, right. There's a crystal that does take damage. Okay. So we should talk to this guy. Talk. That bat there. It doesn't seem inclined to attack. Yeah, it's running towards to hide from you guys. It's just green because it's an ally. It's usually the color coding for a fire emblem. Green are allies that are NPC controlled. And blue are yours. And then red is the enemy. So yeah. That bat there. It doesn't seem inclined to attack. Does anyone hear the strange sound? Is that a signal? This sounds oddly familiar. There's a high-pitched noise coming from... Coming just from the direction of the... But, uh, okay. Uh, this has a text around... What is this act again? Act 2, right? Act 2... Hold on, give me a moment. Act 2... Text... But in... Is not spaced out. There we go. Yeah, sorry. I'm also writing some notes to deliver to the uh, developers. So I can, you know, like help them polish the game a bit further. There are... Like, there's no perfect game. Even if it's just like, you know, you put so much like... Is this making sure? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's why we have debuggers and I guess beta testers to like... Figure out what could be fixed in the game. So I'm writing notes that needs correction. And I'll submit this to the uh, developers. So, sorry if I do pause a bit. Further investigation concludes the sound of originating directly from this moral creature. Hey, Vesper, it's staring right at you. It's definitely making that noise at you. But I don't understand what it could be trying to say. Yeah, because it's a bat. You don't speak bat, bat ease. The bat flies towards Vesper, accepting the offer to land on his arm. Almost immediately, the cry, the cry evolves into a loud He hates us! You sound just like my besties. Hell yeah! Oh, that's why it sounds so familiar to me. But it's not a vestie, right, Vesper? I'll be honest, I don't recognize it. It's not one of my besties, but it still feels like one. Huh. Well, whatever it is. It seems like it wants to stay with you. What do you think? Should we take it with us? The bat flaps its tiny wings, abandoning the scholar's arm and relocates atop of Vesper's hair. Ah! It soon sells itself like it doesn't intend on leaving anytime soon. I don't think I am the one who make those decisions. It's just a little guy. And already made up its mind. I don't want I don't want it to think I hate it. He hates us! Ooh. There we go. Well, that's... That? Okay, so I think we will f uh, encounter our first fight here. I wonder if we can make it to the... To the... Chest on time. But I'll try... But I'll try and do that. Vesper, what happened to your... HP? Why is your HP low? What? Who attacked you? Is it the bat? Dude, that's crazy, dog. Okay, well, I'm just gonna bait the enemies here because. Let's proceed. Fresh blood. What the hell? That's crazy, dog. Da, that's crazy. That's fun. Uh, I think they're kind of puny. They don't really deal much that damage, but I try not to be careful. Uh, I try not to be careless. Uh, let's see. Spear. Okay, I think we can just like poke this guy out. Oh. There we go. And 
Let's see. Wait. Okay. Please, don't come to me, boss. I just want to get to the chest. Please. Let me explore. Okay, well, that's funny. Uh... Uh, check. Question, question, question. I give up. What was I writing for? Leader has to snap me back to attention more often. He keeps saying that the power of this place has finally given him what he wanted from the start. He said soon it's, it is time. He can take control. Whatever the heck that meant. Leaving here doesn't matter to me at all. I can't remain close to the stars here. Oh shit. Leader granted me what I wanted after I told him about how I felt connected to these caverns. He pierced a piece of the crystal into me. Ayo? He's making me a part of his power too, he said. Huh? <laughs> this way we... This way... We can always be of use to him. Together. Vine boom... Like, I wish I could have like a... Vine boom... Like a, a sound effect. Like a... What? It gives him comfort. And me as well. What? What are y'all doing in this cavern? You nasty... Just kidding. I'm sure it's, it's nothing too serious. <laughs> I'm just joshing with y'all. Okay. Hey, yo. Poke the shit out of that dude. There we go. He got healed a bit. Not by much. But... You know, a bit. Well, this is gonna be a problem because I don't want to trigger the boss. Like, not yet. I want to go to the chest. Oh my god, let me... Let me go. Let me go! Oh my god! You're so excited! Point. Haha, <laughs> he's staying. Okay, well, Shinri... I mean, I mean, I think we can do chip damage on this dude, but he has three range. I think it's because he's charging the shit out of us, so that's fine. Dude! Leave us alone! I just want to get to the chest! Dang it! I'm a pack rat, okay? Like, I, if I see chest, I tunnel vision to it. Like, enemies be damned! Let's go! Run! Unless, like, if Shinri can't, well, that's gonna be unfortunate. Sheesh, leave, leave us alone! Not yet, silly. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Please, leave us alone. Hoarder. Yeah, I am a hoarder. I'm sorry. I kinda... I kinda am. Chest! The chest was empty. Oh my god. They know! They know! They don't... They know that I'm a... I'm, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a person with hubris. Hum, the hubris of humanity wins all over me. It's like, ha, stupid. You see those chests and you're just like walking towards it. What a fool. Oh my god. Are all the chests empty? What am I doing? Energy pack? Is this for... I feel like this is something for Flayon to use. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you're coming. I need... Talisman! Oh my god, this is for you, hawkers. He said, Oh my god, it's for him! A sound echoed in the distance. What do you mean? Am I gonna call like a special like boss because I opened the last chest? Or maybe he's like so pissed like, What the hell? You're robbing us out of house of home. How dare you? I'm sorry, okay? I'm just... I'm just... I'm a thief. There, 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 there's not really much, I guess. Okay. Let's just wait. Um, the tea set. Vest tea. Use. Help? Okay. I used, the, I used it. And... 
What skill? Okay, what? Okay. Hold on, let me just... I can't fight them yet. Um, or maybe I can. If I could maybe chip this off. Uh, tremor. Oh my goodness, that's... Oh, maybe the 30 crit is kind of... Kind of sexy, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, uh, hold on. Tremor... The farther... The farther it is, the tremor, the, the lesser it hits. So, let's do that. Yoing! Haha, <laughs> he dodged. Okay, um, let's see. I mean, I try not to get myself overwhelmed at least, because maybe... Hmm... Because they're definitely gonna go forward. Shinri, can you defend yourself in close combat? Because... I think they're gonna... Wait! There's a chest! Holy shit! Guys! We shouldn't have stopped! We should have kept moving! Nar! Shinri! Hang in there! Hang in there, Shinri! Trust us! Believe! Now you see! Okay, don't worry. He dodges, okay? Look at that going! You see? He's like, yeah... This shit ain't... This shit ain't no problem to me. Okay, let's go. Uh... Healing. Don't worry, you guys. I got it. Uh, while we keep... Oh, no. Shinri doesn't have enough. Yeah, well, you know. Yoink. I'll keep chipping it off, I guess. I'll try not to... I'll try not to, uh, die. Let me get the chest real quick. Shinri. Hang in there. Hang in there, Shinri. Uh, I'll, I'll keep Haka at least there. I'll, I'll let Vesper do the thing. Oink. No! Don't kill it, Shinri! No, no, no! It's so funny because like, no, don't kill him! Like, that's so... <laughs> Isn't it funny? Like, you're supposed to, like, defeat the guy, but like, no, don't kill him! The treasure... Uh, let's try not to get this... Uh, oh, oh my god, this this is gonna be... Shinri, don't kill him, okay? Shinri, no! Shinri, just one more, please! Stay still! <laughs> don't kill him! Crystal record, there we go. Got him. Okay, now you can kill him. Okay, it's fine. You can kill him, Shinri. Okay, not, not like that. Oh, wait, what? When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. What? Sniffing the void? What the hell? Okay, there we go. It's okay. I got it, you guys. I got it, I got it, I got it. No problem. There they go. I don't think they'd be coming back anytime soon. Isn't it nice that you found somebody who's like extremely obsessed with items? Because I am. I would risk my units just to get some items. in, in Fire Emblem, oh my goodness. Bit quick to run, eh? I wonder why they came charging all, all of a sudden. We won. Take that, you. Wait, what? Okay. Haka taunts the dead boar with a conver conversative amount of cursing in both Spanish and English. Did he just say that "iyo di tu puta madre" at the fucking boar or something? Oh my god! Let's go, Haka! Woo! Ah, there he goes. I guess that means you're all right then. At Vesper's query, Haka comes down, turning to the fa turning to face him and Shinri. As he opens his mouth to answer, however, he winces and rubs his right arm. Mm, yeah, I'm all right. Just a little sore, I think. Shinri observes the movement, the, the movement, and he shares a glance with Vesper. Despite the mutual concern, neither comments on it. That's good. Well, before you found us, we were trying to figure out how to find the rest of the guild. Did you have any ideas? Uh, maybe. I don't know if you two have... You two still have yours. 
Mister fishes around in his coat pocket before producing something, holding it up. But I still have my guild communicator. Wow, really? Nice. I totally don't have mine. I think it dropped out of my pocket when I fell. And mine's definitely a goner after I landed on it. Luckily, you saved yours. Well... I don't say lucky yet. I still don't know if it works. He feels around with it for a bit. Eventually, a low setting emi emits from it. Hello? Guild Tempest, is anyone out there? This is Ves Vester speaking, over. They fall silent, listening. But there's only static. Maybe they just lost or broke their communicators too? Vesper pulls the face, bro furring as he bites his lip. Maybe, but it seems unlikely I'm the only one whose communicator survived. No, I think it's a connection issue. Yeah! There's no connection in the freaking mountains, dude! The abyss is a dead zone, even if they're down here. They couldn't hear us either way. Oh, by the way, uh, another ad for you guys. Like, it's not like an ad ad because, like, I couldn't pin it. But if you guys want to play the game, please play it in the website, Protostar Twilight. I don't know why I can't pin it for some reason. Let me refresh my page real quick and see if I can pin it again. I don't know why. There we go. Um, I will set it like that. I finally pinned it. It's fine. Yay, I pinned it now. Whoopee! Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's go back to the game. A heavy quiet settles around them, each mulling their own thoughts. Vesper turns the communicator off, tucking it back into his pocket. That seems to break the spell of silence, and Shinri cre clears his shoulder. Beh. Let's get moving. We should hang around too long in case more giant boars come knocking. Then, he gives him a reassuring smile. They'll be okay, guys. They're, they're resourceful. Let's just hope for their safety. Yeah, especially Battle. That guy? You think that guy can actually survive out there? Nah, dog. Nah, dog. And that we see them again soon. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. Hoping to reunite with their guildmates safe and sound, the three delve back into the unknown. Unbeknownst to them, hidden in the dark, something watches them go. Something with bright eyes and a black heart. Oh, is that just isn't that just flan or something? End of act two. Good job, everybody! That was nice! I liked the writing. And also I like the mechanics of like, you know, baiting people to like open every single chest. I think not everybody is a pack rat in strategy games, but I'm luckily one and I managed to find something and I feel like those crystal records might be of use too. I'm not really sure, but it seems like they're important enough to like have a special mechanic anyways. Great job, great job. Oh, this is the, the one from the demo, isn't it? Th this map. There we go. Act 3. Draco. Conversation... Draco. Artist is... Is this like a... Big preach. I feel super appreciated for the hard work. Yeah, no problem. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm also... I've also developed games as well, but it's mostly in Game Maker. And, I guess, a bit of, like, the RPG Maker as well. So, it's not really easy. I think... You know, I do know that RPG Maker doesn't really have, like, intensive coding. But the fact that you have to, like, put something together, like, mechanics, or even, um, dialogues. Like, dialogue is very... Like, it's easy to write as it is, but trying to do continuity and also, like, trying not to write a cringe... Script is also like something that people, you know, like struggle to do. So yeah, I think I love the writing so far. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, there we go. We are starting Act 3. Fading in and out of consciousness, Axel struggles to awaken. 
what appears to be unfamiliar voices, uh, what seems to be an unfamiliar voice echoes. Sorry, my god, what the shit? I can't read. Little buddy. Just hang on, little buddy. Who? Please be safe. Oh shit, my bad. Please be safe. I'll find you again, I promise. Where? After struggling with his aching body that yearns for more rest, Axel comes to. Standing up slowly, he looks around where he had fallen. He's fallen and he can't get up! Axel has landed on a ridge overlooking an underground lake. Below him, crystals shine throughout the completely still and clear water. At the bottom of the lake is a gravelly shore littered with several... Alligators? Oh my god. It is... This is the thing, right? This is where the, uh... The demo was in. Several alligators dot the shore beneath where Axel has landed. CG, let's go! A few have turned their heads towards Axel, but makes no attempts to climb up and make him their meal. In the distance, a voice more familiar familiar, eh, familiar than the previous one echoes. Axel strains his ears. Buddy, where are you? Betsy! I call him Betty. Phantom! Where are you, buddy? Sup. <laughs> like, sup. Axel, you're here. Have you seen Phantom? No, I have not. And he just woke up. Are you sure? Bro, I walked about halfway around this lake and I haven't seen him. Just some alley... Gator. Alright, if he wasn't on your... If he wasn't half on your lake and he wasn't half... He wasn't on my half. Uh, I'm gonna guess he hasn't found anyone else. No point sticking around. Those scaly shits might be after us. Having made it past the land bridge, Axel and Betel venture into the cave system. Not long after entering, the pair come to a fork in the path. <laughs> what, like... A shit! A, for a fork in the path! Just like the narrator said! Oh my god! The cave's been twisting for a bit. I think we... Might be in some kind of maze. No sweat. Me and Shinny have mastered mazes at this point. I'm gonna press X to Dob on that one, especially Bell. Dude, he can't even fend for himself. Bell charges at the path directly ahead. Just after a few seconds, Bell runs back to the judge. <laughs> See, I told you guys! Bro can't even navigate. Dead end. Yeah, I can see it from here. All right, then ready to this. Once again, Bell charges this time to the right path, and once again, Bell returns. Also a dead end. <sighs> I thought so. There's a draft coming from the left here. Yeah, of course. You leave it to the dog. I'm sure he would be sniffing around clues to where the path is. Alright then, follow my lead. Um, shouldn't that be Axel? Like, out of both of you, Axel is the bruiser of the guild. And I think he has more... ...stamina to actually take hits, you know? Hold on, exactly, hold on! Oh wait, something smells like... ...bull. Don't tell me. Oh, there it is. This is where actually d the demo uh, played. But I think the monsters were kind of extremely tough. I'm not sure if that's changed in any way. You know, not that. So did you know, guys, that if you eat some dog treats, he actually, like, comments on that? 
but we will do that sometime soon. Uh, I just need to look at the map. There's one chest over there. And I think it's either I defeat the boss or defeat all of the enemies. I think that's this, the... That's the... what you call that? Oh wait, no. It's either you leave or... You uh, beat the boss, which is... I'm not really sure if they changed the stat on these enemies. But it seems like it. They seem way more weaker than they should be. Except for these one. These one seems to be the one that I had problems. This one isn't that too bad. I defeated the boss alligator in my run. At least in the demo. So, yeah. Alright. Enough darling. Okay. Shoot, more alligators coming from behind us. Ah! Where did they come from? They're probably the ones that were sniffing at my feet while I was out. Y'all need to get out my ass for real. How are we going to get through this? Slowly. Kicking off the alligators in front of us while fighting back the alligators behind us. Just stay close together and we'll get through this. Man, if they only had help. If only. But these... Okay, there we go. Th these are the victory conditions, so it's either... Defeat the boss or escape through this, um, gate up here. Compared to the rest of the Guild Tempest, spell stats leave much to be desired. Listen, we can't be all caked up and have big packs or giant mechas. He broke the fourth wall. Oh my goodness. But Bell does have a special ability. Try moving Bell next to Axel and choose perform. Perform like a magic trick? I've got plenty of those, but what will that do? There we go. Hey Axel, watch this. Watch this and he just like slips over. Bell sticks his hand inside his hat. Ta-da! Bell pulls out a receipt from the, <laughs> the grocery store. Wait, that's not... Ooh, that's not... I hope you guys got a reimbursement for Altair. Suddenly, an obscene amount of tomatoes fall out of the sleeve of the opposite arm. Damn, Betsy, you always impress me with your tricks. Alright then, my turn to do something cool. Axel can take another action. Bell performs ability allows other members of the Guild Tempest to move and take other action in the same turn. Use this ability to move slower members faster. Or, for stronger members to take down more enemies. Okay... Uh, so the pathing is kinda... It, this is the easier path, but the boss will move. This is the more harder path, but it's like... The more... Like, you get more stuff. But honestly, I don't think... Axel can solo these dudes, I think. 37... Oh, I think he can. Okay, that's kinda good. But first we need to talk to the this guy. I think he will tank attacks for us. Like he'll be like a decoy. That happened last time when I played the demo, so maybe it works like that. Hi! Alright, who's next? You? Well, slow down there. I don't think this little guy is with the others. Hey there, little fella. What's a guy like you doing? Oh my god, it hissed. He's bad at me! Pasty little guy, ain't he? Let me give it a shot. Be playful. Axel grabs the lizard by the tail and starts tossing it into the air. <laughs> I think he does that to you guys, like the Axel always. The lizard seems to be having fun. <laughs> it has a, uh, it has a custom like portrait. Cute. Alright, um, let's... Oh, wait, okay, actually, we can talk. Can we perform and talk? I'm not really sure. Yeah, but I need the stat boost, so... Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this one is like, um, unlimited reinforcement, so you need to basically leave as soon as possible, or... 
you defeat the boss. I'm not sure if the boss has a drop. I kind of, I can't, I don't remember actually. But I was able to beat it last time. Okay. Um. Let's go to the healing crystals and then let's do. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't think they're ranged. I guess just to make sure they're not ranged. Okay, they're not ranged. There's a mask! And it's something that you could obtain. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's even explained in the game for you guys. But if it's like something like this... It's something that you could obtain. So I guess our best bet is we need to really like... Go through the chest and fight the boss. It will be longer. But if you do like this turn here in the map... I think we could get it. And anyway, what, anyways, back to the explanation. If you see like... A differently colored name on an item that means you can obtain that it's not explained in the game but i'm pre pretty much explaining it anyways because like i play this game like i play fire emblem a lot so yeah so okay we can't do this path i think so i guess we really have to go down it's a lot of like it's a lot of like um work to do but i'll, I'll do it anyways uh let's go that guy in the face. Oh, okay. Perform. Uh, Bevel, I think you can... Never mind. You know what? Nah. I think he would die. Bevel, you do have dodge, right? Just to be sure. Please don't die. Well, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. He, he did dodge that. Good. See, I told you guys. As long as you have dodge, it'll be fine. Chest. Healing potion. Good. I think you'd need it more. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Alright. Okay, that seems to be easy. Obviously, these guys are not easy because that they're getting more and more as they go. It's okay, I, I've dealt with this with, um... With Awakening. And there was like, a shit ton of reinforcements. And you're basically like, pressed for time. Yeah, so that's, I think, the, the concept Blizzard basically is doing. He's doing like a... It's like a, a decoy, basically. Okay. Let's check this one. Okay, there we go. Tartarus Expedition... Expedition Day... Whatever. Time? I don't think this place experiences anymore. I feel no hunger, thirst, or pain. The memories of my companions are fading. I know I had some. Just... What did they look like? I've wandered the caverns... I don't know how many times to find it. Okay, hold on. I've wondered the caverns... ...punctuation mark, and I don't know how many times to find their crystal forms and shape their features. But the statues keep growing, and those are now just blobs of blue light. Okay, that... It's okay. I'm not sure it's, like, game-breaking. It's not that game-breaking, but that threw me off. They have replaced the stars from the outside. It seems Leader is assimilating to this dungeon in a way. He stares at the crystals and they morph with the his gaze. He's recreated our home, images of, of our friends, and supplies me with materials to draw and write. He says I should try to keep myself together for a bit longer. I don't understand. Why can't I just die? Why can't I escape the forever burning crystal in light? Why? Why won't this dungeon just finally claim me too? Leader is the only one trying tying me together now. Ooh. So basically they're stuck in this and this this is more like a like like a space where they kinda just survive without nothing. It's 
it's like an it's like space of I don't know what's it called, like Fire Emblem has that too, like a pocket dimension basically where they pass time there and grow. But this one's like more like just there. Okay, we're, well we're slowly piecing together the the lore. Or at least the con good context anyways. Okay, well, no, I'm not gonna fight you either, I guess. Well, that... Okay, well, that's gonna be funny. Another one. Okay, how do I... How do I get to you guys? Because I can't go through here. So, it's either I... Punch all of these... I mean, they're not that hard to beat. Except for this one, maybe. Oh shit, those 30 ones do kind of be hard. Uh, chest first. Top hat! Oh man, you should have been here, battle. Okay. Uh... Perform. Then again, we do have dance anyway. So it's fine. That's great. Yeah, they're having fun, alright. Hmm. The thing is... Okay, I think it's way more better to clear this side. I think... They don't... They, it, does, it doesn't spawn. Like, it's not the actual spawner anyway, so... Okay, let's just go there. I've done this before. It's just like I didn't think the reinforcement is just like really fast. Oh, I, I skipped that. Skipping, there we go. I skipped some parts. Uh oh, he's stuck. Uh oops. Get back here. Uh say hi to Jerry. Sorry guys, I'm just skipping stuff. Uh, don't you don't you better hit. Okay, there seems to be small fries. Never mind, I got hit. Uh let's go there. Dog treat. Yeah, there's this one, but I don't think he has yeah, not yet. Let's save it up for a bit. Perform, go dance on this guy. And then go corrosive crystals, definitely not. Let's not go there. Dude, where are you going? Back down the bridge. Think about it. If alligators manage to make their way down here, then surely other stuff might have fallen down there too. We have to get to the exit. We have no idea how many more will come. Then we keep messing them up as they come. Just back me up, Betsy. We'll be fine. If you only have some help. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. As long as we don't get overwhelmed. And we should be fine. It got debuffed? Holy shit. Oh no, Betty! He got overwhelmed. Okay, well that's funny. Wait, what? Okay, well, let's... Let's eat the dog treats. Uh, okay, that's funny. Okay, I, I got overwhelmed. But the, but the mask we needed! It's okay. It's gonna be the decoy. Oh, okay. It's okay. That's fine. My first game over. It's the hubris. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's go. Fight. Because like if I fight the boss, then I can't get the items. That's kind of annoying. Because the top hat. Okay, this one is a like, healing, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so. This one, we don't need to, so we just have to focus on this one then. We 
just need to keep fighting. Okay. Wait, I haven't talked to this guy. Oh shit. Never mind. Come on. I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Because it's a recruitment thing. Betty, don't you fucking die on me. Oh my goodness. Dodge it! Okay. over if I fight him now. I mean, I could just like do it now. I'm strong enough for that. Okay. That's why we think. He's our brain. Uh, this will take a turn. You know what? I'll, I'll just lure him there. Okay, he dodged that. Right. So this will be taking two turns. Okay, Betty can at least uh do this. Check. Okay. Betty. Run, 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 run. I think it's a bleed. Okay. Uh, top. Do I keep talking to this dude? I'm not sure. some of them, I guess. Ooh, that's a lot. The, di the dialogue on this one? I'm not really sure. Yeah, well, you know what? We will not- we will never know. We just need to keep going. We don't have enough rounds for that stuff. But we kinda need the healing potion too, though. Dude, where are you going? Blah 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 blah. Okay. This one. Shit. Okay. No, I'll, I'll take the L. Yeah. 
Gonna need it. Okay. Run. Betty got a debuff. So this one, I think it's either two of them. Convoy. Take out. Should have put something on the convoy. Well, that's gonna be fun. Okay, well, Bell definitely can't do it now. Shit, okay, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Oops. Boss will come to me. Okay. Oh, shit, there's another one. Okay. That's why we have stalls. Alligators, how did they miss that? Miss this little guy. Who knows? Maybe you should have tried to get him to come with us from the start. He seems happy that we cleared everyone out, though. Don't worry, little buddy. No one's gonna mess with your home now. The lizard circles around Axel, then curls up at his feet. Aw, look at that. I think he likes you. I guess you can come with us if you like. Let's go, Betsy. We've got Phantom and the others to find. Let's go! We got the lizard. I think the mechanics of the lizard being a decoy is really nice. I think the reinforcement kind of comes way too fast, but honestly, it's not really a big deal. But if it's like something that you need to overextend... Well, to be fair, it's not going to be a game over when Battle got knocked down, but still. It's very pressing for time. There we go. Ooh, another box of, like, chests. Oh, I like that. Rank 4. Right, uh, written by Felix and Kiko. Conversation writer by Felix and the artist is Abby. Great job, you guys. The soft light of the crystals act like a soft guide up the strange cave system. I'll tell you my Oh, mom and dad, hi. Altair and Magnia still have no idea what's going on. Where they are and what purpose they, this strange place serves. Still, finding their teammates is their highest priority. Despite their latest slime friend they found a few hours ago. Carrying the slime on his arms, Altair is in high spirits, while Magni can't stop thinking about this place. Tell me, Altair, doesn't this little guy here look awfully a lot like your adventures at the Gal? It's attached to you like glue. 
It feels different though. My outfits feel a bit warmer, and their squishiness is also a bit different. In what way are we warm? We are cold blobs. We are made out of water and love. But it's okay. Maybe he meant like during the summer. Yeah, we're kind of hot. We're sweating. There's a difference between squishiness? Really? Why am I not surprised that you, out of all people, know everything about slimes? Altair laughs, making the slime wiggle on his arm. Oh, that's a cute image. Then they both fall quiet as they hear a strange noise. Did you hear that? Yep, loud and clear. Sounds awfully like those owls or goblins near our guild. Sometimes you can hear them passing us. Shh. Magni shushes his guild leader, pressing his finger against his lip. <gasps> you can't do this to me! You can't do this to me! Whoever wrote this, they probably had me in mind. Just kidding. I'm just being delusional. Just then, three goblins passed with by without noticing them. Whew, that was close. Too close for my taste. Tell me about it. I'm sick of this dungeon. Magni peeks after go the goblins, noticing something about them. Hey, uh, Altair? Hmm? What is it, Thess? Those goblins there, they have the same, flesh yeah, the same crystals on their bodies as ones on the walls. Do they? They look familiar, and they also look... weird. Corrupted? Static? S rank the Lulu set, yeah! You thought my charisma and my Japanese was like 99. Nah, -uh. my delusion stat is like 99999. Absolutely crazy. Delusional, even. Yeah, just like on the floor where we found Squishy. <gasps> Me? Just kidding. It's it's the, it's a slime. They actually had a nickname for it. That's so adorable. Oh my god. Speaking of him, he seems to be very unaffected by them. Any clue how that might be possible? Magni looks first at the slime, then back to the goblins who are screeching at each other. Oh my god, they're having a they're having a bickering moment. After a moment of thought, the alchemist shakes shakes his head. Can't tell you that, bud. This whole dungeon here is a mystery to me. There's so many puzzle pieces that don't fit together, no matter how I twist and turn them. Altaria looks down at his slime companion, then looks at Al the alchemist with a frown. I know that face, and my answer is a no. Huh? I didn't even say anything. You stared at those crystals on the walls. You won't touch them, and you definitely won't take them with you. Got it? Hey. Get out of my head, Altair. <laughs> oh my god, they're like an all married couple. Shh, be quiet, Des. Oh! Oh! Sorry. I mean, I'm just crazy. Altair presses his fingers over his own lips, shushing his friend. I want to cause this. I want to cause as little ruckus as possible. Who knows what monsters might live here? Besides, when I had to drag your ass away from those crystals, my armor reacted. I'm worried for our guildmates, and I'm gonna do everything I can to bring us all together again. And out of here. Aww. Poor guy. Until then, we stick together. Alright, Des? And when you find something strange, you tell me. Yeah, 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 I got Eltair. <laughs> my, my thumping just like broke the fucking game. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> sorry, that was like a moment of my weakness. Okay, so who do we have here? Leon? Oh shit, I must have missed it. Leon was found. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Do you want me to like load the game again so we can like have the the, the entire dialogue without me going crazy? <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry.
I'll try I'll try to handle myself. Okay, there we go. The alchemist huffs, taking off his band brace to itch his arm. What? He got them crystal on his he on his arms. He's not gonna tell. Oh my god! If he fucking dies again, I'm gonna. Okay, no more desk. No more desk slamming. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be normal. He stops still for a moment as he observes his revealed skin. <gasps> The skin has turned blue, which crystals that grow a manner similar to the scales of a dragon. When he pokes it with his finger, the crystallized skin feels oddly rough. Oh my god, he became Grahatia! He became Grahatia! Oh my god, no! Magni! You gotta tell Altair! The alchemist swallows, clenching his teeth so that an easy feeling in his stomach wasn't for nothing. When Altair pipes up, his first instinct is to replace the Vambrace. Acting as usual. Tez, you good? Yep, everything's good. Don't worry. You fucking liar! Don't you do Don't do that! What the fuck? Just a bit tired. That's all. Magni is half expecting to be caught in his lie. But Altair doesn't seem to catch it. No! 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 It can't be! Much this relief. He doesn't need to burden Altair with more worries right now. No! You have to! He's the guild leader. He has to know what's going on with his, like, members. You gotta tell him. Those crystals on his skin can wait. No! What do you mean? What if you turn into a fucking statue of crystal? No! That was like Grahatia. What the hell? Another group of five goblin wa walks past them, carrying some something red over their shoulders. Oh no. Altair frowns. Doesn't that look awfully familiar to you? That's Flan. It's one of his control panels. But where's Flan? The guild leader carefully ventures forward. His comrade following close behind. As they follow the group, they see a makeshift camp houses built from all kinds of material. Rocks from the walls, some dead wood, some skeletons. And now one of Flame's panels, which becomes a makeshift roof. What? They just turned his panel into a fucking roof? What the fuck? <clears throat> Where did they find that? Maybe we can capture one alive and force it to talk? I have ways to do that. Just as the hero turns to Magni, he is distracted by a larger crystal at the camp. Together, they dare to venture a bit closer. Trying to get a good glimpse of that crystal. Holy crap, that's a huge one. I wonder what made it so huge. Eh? Altair observes something unique at the foot of the crystal, pointing at it. Oh my god! Flayon! And his... And his delicate tum-tums. There's someone there, a human. Wait, that's Flayon! What did they do to my poor boy? Flayon? He's here? At this camp? Yeah, look at those crystals! It's it's glitching out! What the fuck? Oh no! Somebody didn't compile the code right! Shoot, that is him. They must have found him and dragged him here. It is indeed Flayon, who rests on the ground. His wrists tied behind his back and his eyes closed. Yeah, I think I've seen better days. He has a few bruises on his head. Altair can't tell if it's from the fall or from the goblins. Oh no, you didn't. But he knows he has to act quickly. Who knows how long Flayon's been near that giant crystal. What if it's dangerous? Grabbing Magni by the wrist. And he didn't feel any roughness to the from the van braces? Like, come on now. He has like the softest skin out of everybody in the guild. He would have noticed. But that's me and my Delulu head. What if it's dangerous? Let's go, Des. We need to get him out quickly. No time for a plan. We can handle this. Quick today, eh? 
Sounds good to f sounds fine to me. Let's get him out of here. There we go. Uh, they're protecting that. Okay. Let's save this place. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Okay, Flyon is in the crystal, so basically it's a, s a rescue, but he's not green, so... Maybe we don't necessarily need to talk to him. Uh, okay. Victory conditions. Re reach Flan, defeat our enemies. Lose conditions. Flan is defeated, everyone else is defeated. Flan's over there. We have to reach him before something else happens to him. Looks like we should be able to break through their defenses and get him out. If we're careful, that is. Our positions on the battlefield matter. If we're careless, we could be easily be overpowered by numbers. Good call. There's only two of us. Goblins usually... Goblins are usually not that big of an issue. But their strength comes in numbers. So let's stick together and get playing out of here. Oh my god, is this like an unlimited... Um, reinforcement battle again? Oh no. Okay, the mushroom provides avoidance. Okay, what is our route here? Player is definitely stunned. He's 18 HP. Wait, hold on. to like stay here but it's probably Altair is gonna stay here and Magni is gonna definitely rescue this guy but it depends on the movement and if it's like an unlimited uh reinforcement wait hold on okay no way. I might um change tactics I guess mm -hmm. nice crit you leveled up nice stat distribution too can we talk? No, we can't talk. Um... Be a little late tonight. Oh my god, he crit on that mushroom. No, Magni, you don't crit on the mushroom. Defense and resistance is negative five. But I'll take it. I've got okay. a couple more people to murder, so. Oh my goodness, nice crit. Our friends were taken over by the crystals. 
They all became a part of the dungeon. They're shiny too for real now. For real, for real! We are the only two left. The rooms with crystal spawners contained the clues to open the path to the ending. Where did we find them months ago? What did this place take to them first? Leader Friedel is unsure of the answers. The pattern was obvious after looking around a bit. After finding the boss room, we locked the me mechanism that shifts the cavern. No more do they charge, and now we will not get lost and trapped. Or so we thought. There was no boss. Just another empty cavern. With crystal tinkling and sparkling and emitting light. The ant had no exit. Back to the surface. Nor any indication of propelling equipment he had left behind to kiss this cursed place goodbye. Just nothing. A blank wall. Locked in. Well, at least I don't feel hungry anymore. Oh, shit! That's gonna be... That's so unfortunate. This is like fucking... Fear and hunger. Yeah, I'll be- I'll be- I'll be keep- I'll be keeping going until I can't. Don't worry. Real. Fucking fear and hunger ass game. I- I see how it is. So this isn't the reinforcement area, right? It seems kind of weird. Or maybe it is. Uh, these definitely... I need, we need to pluck them out one by one. So for this one, um, let's see. A tier definitely can fight this dude. Uh For sure, for sure. Uh, for this one, I need an, a void. Uh, healing crystals is also nice. But I'll... Oh, hold on. What's my item, actually? Healing potions is three. Crystal records. It's a stat boosting item, but for what? Oh, wait. Hold on. I can just, like, use this? Yeah, never mind. I'll do that later. Um... For this one, I'll wait here. Yeah, let's go. Going. Ouch! <gasps> no! Altair can take it. But we need potions too, so maybe I can just like restart. How, can, how far can we go? I really need this though, so it might restart. It's not that far off. Yeah, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. okay. Sorry about that, guys. I just need some extra people to open those gates. I mean, chests. Where I already know what to do at least. Just be careful. Overconfidence is a uh, insidious killer, as they say. I should have listened to the fucking ancestor. Oh, it's a good fucking lesson. Don't push it too much. Mushroom. I crit on that mushroom. Let's let Altair lead this time. Okay. Also, this guy is ranged. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I can cover the reinforcement tile with someone else.
Now you're not fighting him. Did he crit? Okay. Uh, this one, we need to stay here. At least it heals. Okay. The reinforcements! Reinforcements is coming in! Yes! We have more time to be a pack red. I mean, we, I can definitely just do it. Just the two of us. We just need to pluck them slowly. Oh shit, I made wait door. Not bad, it's my fault. Uh, let's see. Shinry doesn't have much movement. Yeah. Let's let Vesper lead. No time I need your way. Okay. I'll try not to take too long. I'm sorry guys. I know you're watching. Imagine like watching somebody's like trying too hard. It's just normal difficulty too. It's not that hard. I just like want items, okay? I'm greedy. I'm really greedy. Alright. So... He dodged that. Tome. Rapier. 18. Single spear. Wait, hold on. When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. Okay, 
Okay, I, I healed. I healed. So it's good. Energy arrows. Okay, that's for Shinri. We got buff items and then... A what? Shit! No! We go back. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. No! I was too strong. I was too strong. No! The items! Sorry, you guys. Uh, I'm not supposed to skip that. Sorry. Defeat all enemies! No! I'll save it here. Uh, no! It's okay. Spoilers. Spoilers. Sorry, guys. I need to keep going. Sorry! I really want the items. My bad. I really want the items. My sorry, I'm sorry. I got I got to I got to overzealous. Now what? It's more like try to survive, not die, and also um to kill everybody like every monsters around shit okay so which who should we keep alive can we unequip weapons actually Words play on anyways. So yeah. Hee -hee. Hee -hee. I like items, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just greedy. Can you guys talk? Oh, okay, so the talk system is just like on that turn. Oh man, that's it. There's a turn limit anyways. Okay. It's safe now. It's safe now, everybody. Open those chests. Plants. Tail. Wait, never mind. Nah, not mom. There we go. Much more better. Chest. 
energy arrows, crystal records. Uh, we wait. And then mom gets the chest, ponderous orb. Is this, is this for grandpa? I think now we can move, we can schmooze. But maybe there's like a dialogue for rescuing Cleon, you know? Maybe that's also one thing. was looking pretty bad for us. Let me grab Flayon. Are you two okay? That looked tense. I think we did pretty well, but that was a lot of goblins. Thanks for showing up. I'm just glad we got here on time. So, how is Flayon? Will he be okay? I was able to heal most of the damage and he's a tough guy. He'll be... Oh! Just in that moment, Flayon opened his eyes and, sh and Shinri's arms. Oh, he's been carried. Mm, huh? Good morning, sunshine. Rise and shine. Hey there, buddy. What happened to you? Confused, Flan looks around. After a moment of collecting his memories, he sighs. I don't remember much, if I'm honest. It's in, it's in bits and pieces. Fragments. Don't worry too much. You don't have to remember everything now, alright? Yeah, you're safe now with us. Which means only Bell and Axel are missing. Yeah, they're kind of um, surfing with the crocodiles back there, but you know. Speaking of them, you didn't happen to see them on your way to us, right? Nuh uh, not even a clue. We fought a bunch of weird boars before you f we found you by accident. Shinri insisted he heard noises that sounded just like you. How the f. Oh my goodness! How the fuck do we have signature noises? It's hard to explain. It was pretty Alte and Magni, you know? <laughs> so true. Say it, Shinri. So real. Shinri turns his head aside with a chuckle. Ah, now, I remember a few, a few things. I remember I fell. I tried to use my panels, but wait. My panels? Where are they? Hastily, Flayan jumps back to his feet, balancing his body with his arm out like a duck. Then he finds what he's looking for. My panels! Wait, did the goblin use your panels as roofs for their houses? <laughs> Gah, those are not shingles. They're sturdy shields for combat. What a bunch of dummies. What a bunch of dummies. I think that's what he would say. Oh my god, I hope Flans gets to play this game. I think he would do an, a, an amazing job voice acting this game. And with that, Flayan is running to the house, tearing them apart like a wild beast. Oh my goodness. Hawkeye is close behind him, clapping to encourage his comrade. Well, looks like Flayon's okay. More or less. Mm-hmm. But what should we do now, Altair? Are we looking for Bell and Axel now? Honestly, I don't really want to go much farther with in without knowing where they are. But they can't be further down. We woke up, we woke up at the deepest part. It only goes up from here. I see. Have you tried the communicators already? We did, but we literally have no signal here. No, duh, it's a mountain. Gah, that's unfortunate. That means we have to find them all our by ourselves, right? Altair nods, looking over his shoulder to observe Flan as he blows up a goblin house in pure anger. Oh my god, he blew up a house. I hope they're okay. I'm not worried about Axel, but... Don't worry. We'll be fine. Let's just hope they're together and sit tight until we find them, okay? Be hopeful. 
Only two members left and we can get we can head out of here. Alright. Sounds like we're leaving. Time to find Axel and Battle, and hopefully in one piece. But just as Altair is gathering Flay and Nahaka, Vesper points to Magni and nods to Shinri. Almost immediately, the alchemist's body language shifts uneasily. Magni? Are you okay? Do you maybe want some ra rations? You look troubled. Huh? Ah, ah, ha, ha. Nah, nah, nah. I'm fine. Just glad everyone is here now. Don't worry. Vesper gives a glance to Shinri, but then just follow behind Altair. End of Act 4. Oh, are we gonna finally get to that point? Where we figure out, like, he has, like, a crystal on his... wrist. Act Rider Fee! I know her! She's one of my friends! Conversation Writer, Zenith Sander. Artist, Solus Sanctuary. Hey, does it look like there are fewer crystals here than were in the other areas? Now that you mention it, yes, I think so. Curious. Is there a significance to it, you think? Maybe. But we should think about that later. For now, let's see about finding the rest of the boys, yeah? Speaking of curious things, Phantom was acting pretty strangely when he led us to you. You were led here by Phantom? Maybe that means Bell is nearby. Maybe, but we never actually saw him. Phantom found us, led us to you, and then poof, he was gone. But anyway, as you were saying, sh saying Shinri, Phantom was acting weird? Yeah, he... hmm... seemed weaker. The same way someone might look if they haven't eaten in days. Well, since the little guy is not here, there's not much we can do about it right now. That's true. Guess we have to work on finding him again. Hopefully he'll be with Bella when he... when we find him. Sorry, it's really hot right now, so... And it's really bright outside, my bad, if I ever, like, pause sometimes, as well. Alright, let's keep moving then. The more ground we cover, the more likely we are to find them. Wait, hold on, Des. Your cheek is bleeding. Let me fix it for you. <gasps> oh my god, Magnoir moment real? Magnoir shipper status? No problem, dude. Just try to be more careful in the future, got it? Alright, alright. Chill out, Bess. One little cut on my cheek isn't going to kill me. That's what they always say. A flea untreated. It very well could. Yeah, anything that's like face injuries, they tend to be more severe when it comes to like infections. It's close to your brain after all. Flyan, are you alright? Ah, uh, yeah, coming! Wait. What's all this? Leon! What are you doing? All of what? This, you've got little crystals on you. Like the ones around us. I don't know. It won't come off. What? Let me try. You're right. I, I'm not sure. It feels like it might be growing on him. Oh no! It's turning into a crystal. Magni, ah, uh, you too, uh? Eh? Wait, don't say... I think you're right, Altair. It appears Magni means affected by it too. But, Des? Damn it, it wasn't your business to tell them, Shinri. Were you trying to hide it? No, I was just... No, you definitely were. You weren't gonna tell us. Des, why? Exactly! Why? If people knew it beforehand, they would have known how to, like, figure out stuff. And now it's gonna be, like, a huge revelation that everybody is gonna get, like, infected with fucking crystals. Fafner in a Zur type of situation, maybe. Oh my goodness. Stop lying! Do not lie to your guild members. Especially if it's, like, a live situation, too. Don't do that. Yeah? Then when are you planning to tell us? When you're already turned into a giant rock? When you turn into Grahatia? I... Oh, man. No. I should have told us as soon as you noticed it, dude. We got two... Vesper! Oh, that's not good. <gasps> Everybody's turning into rocks! No! 
I was trying to inspect client's crystal problem because it looks worse than we thought. Look at how much there is. That's... holy shit, there's so much. Another problem arose as soon as I touched it. Oh my god, they're having crystal aids! Just kidding. They're having, uh... What you call that? They got a cold, crystal cold. They got, they got, they got a cold too. Or chicken pox, whatever. And so don't touch it. No amount of healing seems to be affecting it either. So are they all just stuck like this now? I don't know. For now, we can only hope there's a way to reverse this. Let's move. Let's find others as quick as we can and get you guys to a... Ayy! Battle? Oh my god. Let's move. We gotta save him. Wait, you're screaming, yo. Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to just take my death by hammer silently? Yeah, maybe I do. Oh, fuck you. Calm your ass down. You're not gonna fucking die, man. How do you know? Raw. Oh, this is it. This is the end. Mama! You dress like me for real, for real. No death? Axel! Battle! Shinri! And the rest of y'alls too! You got good timing. Thanks for the save. Good timing? You call this good timing? Good timing would have been if they come earlier. Rather than arguing, how about we get out of here? Hell yeah, bro. I'm tired of... I'm tired and want out of this place. Then let's move, dudes. Wait! For what? These nuts got him. Sorry. I couldn't wait. I couldn't resist. That minotaur. Did you see something in its hand? Is that... Phantom! We have to save him! Alright. We have everybody in the party? Let's see. Units. We have everybody but these two. I don't know why. Um, Hoopa, can I ask you a question? Why can't I trigger... Um, why can't I trigger this one? Ah, okay, it's a passive trick. Okay, got it, got it. My bad, my bad, it's a passive. Oh, uh, let's see. Syringe, armor of light. Yeah, it's passive. Talisman, is this a passive one too? Oh, wait, no. Grasp the passive skill seal. Uh, manage. Uh, trade. Let's trade with Shinri. Give him the energy arrows. And then for... Ponderous Orb for Vesper. Because who else gets a fucking Ponderous Orb? Of course it's freaking Vesper. Uh... Did we got the mask, right? Wait, hold on, what? Convoy. Energy pack, antenna tail. Did I get the mask? I bought the boss, right? I bought the boss, right? Huh? Did I not fight the boss? Yeah, okay, hold on. Bell doesn't have it either. What? Because all of the things that I gathered is already here. It's it's not on the convoy either. Did I misplace it? I think it, it should be an automatic like get, uh, reward, right? I remember I killed the boss. We didn't go to the exit. Um. Okay. Uh, did not receive mask. Okay. Uh, don't worry. I'll try to play it on off my off like off stream to test it out and record it, and then maybe save it again. Uh, just to be sure. 
Because, um, in, con in the convoy, it doesn't... I don't have anything in the convoy. See? Nothing in the convoy. Uh, trade. Uh, axe and cereals. Top hat. Because we didn't go to... I didn't go to the exit. I didn't go to the exit. I beat the boss. Orb, energy pack. Hold on. Um, hold on. Let me. Status. Um. Where's the energy pack? At least. I don't think I skipped it. Or maybe I did. Okay. If I did skip it, and it kind of. Okay. Uh, Alright. But that's weird because like I do skip the, the, the scenes and I, I did receive items anyways. But okay, if that's the case, I'll I already wrote it down in the bug fix section. Yeah, I'll well yeah, I'll I'll try to play it off screen. I'll try to play it off screen. If it's like more of like a skip if it's a skip issue, then I'll definitely inform you guys. But if it's like in general, like for um, progression, I'll also note it down. Yeah, exactly. Which is weird. Don't worry. Uh, I'll definitely uh, play it off stream and in that specific act. Don't worry. Uh, hold on. Uh, Hanka, right? Trade. And then. So this is also. Um, the, the thing with bug fixing is you really need to go through... At least, I'm doing things chronologically, but there are other things that you could do more with bug testing. So yeah. Uh, we could use an item. I, I think this is the skill one, right? Skill uses item. So it's not a passive. Okay, it's fine. So it's an item that you don't need to use. Convoy. If it's gonna... Does this affect the ending in any way? Just to be sure, does this affect the ending in any way? Because it might be a problem if it, did, if it, did, if it does. Trade, um, convoy... Wait, hold on, trade. Okay, the cons be in it's okay. That's good to know. I would be fucking so nervous. I don't mind starting over, but you know. Uh, okay, ponder thy orb. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I think. Uh, Hold on. Uh, trade. Status. I'm not sure if it's intentional, by the way. Ah, okay. Well, in the inventory. Okay, that's good to know. Gotta read the flavor text just to be sure. Okay. Status. As for more. We already got the skills. That passive one. Uh, glove cloak. There we go. I think this is a, a, a passive. This this is a passive item. Okay. All right. Okay. We save. about that. Alright, let's go. Um, single pointy stick. Can we swap? Yeah. Swap it. 
bag of biscuits. Defeat the Minotaur, everyone is defeated. Heads up, boys. Here they come. Ugh. Guys, Hakka isn't looking too good. Doesn't play don't look much better. We can't stay here for much longer. You're right. Here, you three hang back a bit. Let us handle the rest. No can do, brother. I'm fine, alright? If we're doing this, we're doing it together. Alright. So the current map... We have the scripture. And the little keto. And this one. So let's try not to... Okay, I mean... Okay. The Minotaur is definitely in the range. Haka, you need to get your Hakitos at least. Oh, nice crit, Haka. Good job! Alright. Over that. Right. Oh. Ooh, look at this little friendship bird here. It's picking at the ground like a chicken. A little nugget. Oh, stop! I'm hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet, even. Oh, there's. Oh, there? Hmm, it seems to be just kind of minding its business. Despite the nearby Minotaur, it's li literally going crazy. It sounds like this little friend here must be so hardcore that you won't. Even mind such a scary guy. Hako walks towards the bird and grabs it between his hands. It doesn't seem to mind at all. Is... Is it even alive? It didn't react to you picking up. The bird happily eats the seeds it has still left in its beak. It looks up to Hako. Cheerfully, it splats its tiny wings. Aww. Bro, it has like zero survival skills. No self-preservation whatsoever. Nah. It's just built different. Must be like a true survivor with keen senses. No, we are no, th we are no threat to it. Hey, yeah, look, it's a little baby. Haka holds it between his arms like a treasure, making it, making the bird peep joyfully. Oh my goodness! Well, it doesn't seem to be dangerous. I have my doubts it'll survive in a ton, though. Do you want to take it with you? I would feel bad to leave it out here all alone. Yeah, this one's now one of my Akitos. After all, they come in all sorts of shapes and colors. Yeah, let's got the void. Let's got the void. Okay. Uh, the scriptures definitely. It's Axel. I think Axel can take it. But 225. Holy shit. Okay. Maybe we try to just like bait it out. Uh, Axel. I think it's best that you go somewhere else. Casa Hut, is this for... Shinri, I think this is for Shinri, I think. He's the only one who wears a hat in that shape. Or Haka. Alright. Pew pew! Level up! Ooh! A lot of stats. Alright. We're safe for now. Uh, are there any other items or any interactables? Okay, that's good. Enough. There's no other items. Alright. So, let's move forward. Okay, it has reinforcements in each of these fucking holes. Good to fucking know. Wait, hold on. Okay, they don't have much. So I guess I can just like, let it check. 245 Kappa, 54, Tartarus Expedition, Day 26. How naive we were thinking... How naive we were to think to leaving this shiny tomb was ever going to happen. Forget the damn damnable utopian port. They can send someone to come after our carbon corpses for all I care. I continue, I continue to write just to leave something of significance behind at this point. Half the gold, my friends are gone. We ran out of opposing crystals to cure this dungeon's crystallization. Thief was the first to, well, become a crystal himself. 
just kind of accepted his fate. At the end. But not before absolutely losing his mind. I think the acceptance happened because no mind was left, actually. He attacked us like one of the dungeon beasts as soon as the crystal spread to his head. His attacks were more powerful than the normal, too. Like he started gaining energy from the dungeon to help him. It was obvious that the dungeon had completely claimed him. More so when he weakened the, to the point of exhaustion. The leader made the decision to let him rest. When he saw how much was causing his former friend's harm. I've never seen such pained expression to come to his face for another person until then. The crystals on Lang's body grew and engulfed him in a crystalline cocoon in the middle of the room. Then he was just gone. No body, no mind, just gone. Oh shit. There's even more of them here. Clay, you doing okay? I'm alright, but <sighs> I'm okay. It could be better. But that's not important. We gotta rescue Belle. We will. But it won't do anyone any good if you push yourself. Rely on us if you need to. Magni, Haka, you guys too. These crystals do get me walking a little funny, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Why do you gotta say it like that? They're just like making fun of the situation even though they're fucking slowly dying. Stop it, you guys. I'm getting emotional. We gotta bait some... We gotta bait... The Minotaur with someone who can withstand damage. But to who, really? Can you talk to him? Wait, oops, my bad. Can you talk? No, no talking. Okay, that's gonna. Defense is. I think his defense is kinda decent, so let's. Bait the Minotaur towards here, and then we can try and fight it one by one. Because we don't really have much items left, I think. Okay. We can't talk to them either. Can we talk to him? Staff? of biscuits. Oh, it's a healing item to other people. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, you stay here then with with Axel then. Magni, he can be fine. Don't worry. As long as he won't like do anything drastic, it's fine. You might need to stay in the healing crystals though. Yeah, he does. Oh, it's a staff son. It's it's more like the staff is helping out. Okay. It's, I thought it was like a class versus zombies. I... Wow, they're gaining a lot of stats. Okay, so the miniature did not get provoked. Uh, okay. If that's the case, then can we try and okay? Th these are healing crystals, so maybe we can like. Net them somewhere. Uh, I don't think I have enough space for that, so maybe I can. Maybe, maybe you. Uh, but I don't want to get overwhelmed. Hmm. Does he not move at all? I am in. I am in the range. Maybe he's more like. I move when I get whatever. Well, I'm gonna try and risk it. Uh, I'll tear. Um, I guess he would clear out the um, the surrounding or anyone who's like going near him. I stay in the mushroom, I do get attacked, so that's kind of not... Okay. Okay. Maybe we could perform? Oh, we can talk! Okay. Bell, so you guys were here, huh? What happened to you? Are you two alright? 
Phantom! Phantom, hang on, I'll save you! You ugly cow, I'm gonna thrash you. Yeah, you're fine. Dude, is that really your concern when your HP is like literally like a fucking biscuit? Even like a even like a Pope would crumble this dude. Who like you and what army? Um I guess I'll bait I'll bait it again with Vesper, I think Vesper is a decent uh, defense. Got a couple more people to murder, so. Oh shit! Look at him go! Oh man, the levels are crazy here. Okay. So the Minotaur stays still. He stays he stay in place, so I guess we can Okay. I mean, we can stay at the mushroom, but they, it takes my damage. Okay. Alright, fine. Take that! Level up! Yippee! How about you, Fleon? Construct mush. Holy shit! Look at him go! You go, Fleon. Hit the monsters. Uh, just to make sure. You're not hitting him, you know. When you sniff the void, sometimes. Oh no, the he's void gonna sniff the void. Ah. Okay, that's good to know. These keeps definitely don't need. Okay, you know what? I, I can ask Haka to do this. That guy. Go get your levels up. Yeah, I think these zombies are good for leveling. And to be fair, this Minotaur is kind of unga bunga in the damage, I guess. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Can I talk to Battle? No, I, th I don't think so. Okay. No, 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 uh, not battle, not battle, not battle, not battle. Okay, his range is here. Maybe I could ask Shinri? Okay, Shinri, can you attack him from here? Okay, sounds good. Wow, they're leveling up like crazy here, okay. Strength is 28, luck is 0, skill is speed. Okay, so you can definitely, you can definitely, like, do the first move, at least. Okay, that's good to know. Take a dump? Nah, shut your bitch ass up. Just like I know this guy, or like I used to. Ah, uh, never mind. It's nothing. Just let's keep going. Phantom, Phantom, can you hear me? It's gonna be okay. We'll save you. Hey, you freak! Let my baby boy go. Dude, this guy is pissed. Yeah. Like, are you guys? Like, Bell, you know your HP is so bad. What <laughs> can't even stand like a fucking sneeze on this minotaur? Like for real, for real. I've got a couple more people to murder, so. Oh well, goodbye. Maybe 
maybe I want... Maybe he can... Okay, you can't talk to him. Okay, that's... Okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Alright, alright. Okay. Archer support. Ignore physical defense. Break attack by half. Physical weapon. Seal attack. I, uh, he got a debuff. He got a debuff, um, resistance. I guess the boss has debuff resistance. Man, your magic don't work, Fleon. Oh, talk. Okay. Axel Sirius. Hey, didn't you hear me? Let Phantom go or I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, yo, dude, shut the fuck up. What did I just say about making it more mad? I don't care. He's turning Phantom. Are you sure? I think... That Minotaur is in Phantom's Mercy, but... I don't know, maybe... Okay, attack! Wait, no, not chains. Fighting gloves. Pretty cool, that! Woohoo! Phantom, buddy! You're okay. Oh, stop that. The tickles. Aww. That's cute. Phantom seems way more affectionate than usual. True, but I doubt Belle's gonna complain about that. Fascinating. What's up? Take a look at this. Do you see anything odd? No. What am I supposed to be looking for? Crystallization, like ours and Leon's. This thing's surely been out here for a while, so why... Isn't it crystallizing like us? Exactly. Hmm? What's this now? Found something? I think so. Look at this. Another crystal? Wait. This one's different. Yeah, but look at my fingers. Your crystallized part is back to normal? This thing can do that? Apparently so. Let's see if it help it let's see if it can help with yours as well. It's, it's working. What? What's going on here? Look, Altair, look at what Vester found in, in the Minotaur. It can help get rid of the crystallization. Playin, play, come here. Hmm? What's up? Something wrong? Hold this. Eh? What? Oh, it's going away. Yeah. Hell yeah, I knew we'd find some way to get rid of that shit. Alright. Now that we've solved that problem and saved Phantom, what do you guys say to getting out of here and going home? Fuck like, yeah, let's go! Ooh, okay, we are currently in the next act, which is act six. Woo! We're getting there, guys. Oh my gosh, three hours. As long as I've been streamed. Ain't it cool? Okay, act six. Act writer by Ava Asimar. Conversation writer, Draco. Artist, Sun. Okay, maybe after this this act, I will definitely um, end the stream and I will continue debugging on the earlier um, acts because I am wondering why I don't have the mask. So I'll definitely send the information to Koopa and also to the team as well. I am a part of the Discord, so it's easy for me to relay stuff. But yeah, I'll, I'll continue on. Hmm. <clears throat> The oppressive silence of the cavern stretched for a long time before finally being broken. Huh. The foliage here seems pretty similar to that one fishing village this out, doesn't it? 50 battery, we are so back. Hi, Machi, hello, welcome back! We should go back there sometime. It was really a neat place. He turned to look behind him at the rest of the group, taking note of their condition. Magni and Flayan were looking a little bit better, but everyone was still appeared quite tired. We could certainly use a little beach vacation when we escape from here. Oh, definitely. Beach episode. Sounds fun. We could play in the water, get some sun, enjoy all the fresh grilled fish. Oi, oi, don't bring up food now. Exactly, I'm fucking hungry. While well, Axel reached down into his pocket and grabbed a granola bar, Flayan gave a soft chuckle. You're always hungry, though. So what's the difference? 
Uh, can I have some actually? It feels like all these crystals are draining away all my energy. As Axel handed a granola bar to Fleon, he accidentally brushed against the corruption on his hand. Eyes widening in realization, he quickly pulled his hand away while Fleon jumped back. Shit, we uh, I definitely touched you, but my hand seems fine. Maybe the shard stopped it? We've seen how much it helped those affected already. That makes sense. We should still be careful though. We don't know how potent the protection is. As Vesper looked down at the shard in his hand, a loud crack echoed around the cavern. Everyone looked to everyone turned to, to look at Fleon, Haka, and Magni in horror as the ground beneath the, their feet fell. No, Haka! The closest to the group, Shinri reached out in an attempt to grab Haka's hand and save him. Shinri! Haka reached his own hand towards Shinri, but the distance between them was too great. Shinri barely missed Haka's hand, instead gripping into his sacred beads, wrapping around his arm. Haka and Shinri shared a horrified look as the beads were removed from Haka's arm. Oh my god! No! The trio fell into the pit below where they could... Where they found themselves surrounded by crystals. No, no, no! We can't stay near these crystals! We gotta get out of here! Plan quickly helped Magni back to his feet. Both of them searching for a way out. Over here. It looks like a little less steep here. We should be able to make it back up. Hey, Haka. We should... Haka? Haka still... Haka, still where he had landed, was hunched over and covering his head with his arms. Are they talking to me? Why do they sound so far away? Why is everything hazy? <sighs> My arm! No! Both of you, stay away! Stay away! The purple the purple veins in Haka's arm glowed brightly as he growled in pain. Corruption starting to take over. Does look! The beads! Haka's prayer beads are gone! Prayer beads, what are you- Oh my goodness! <gasps> Eekheads! Before Magni could reach his sentence, Haka roared. In front of their eyes, he transformed. Pray! Pray, 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 pray! Okay, not ideal. Quite bad, actually. Play, let's get back to the others. As Haka lost control, the crystallized monster began to swarm the rest of the guild. Guys? Haka's not looking... Haka's not doing too good down there. We need to get down there ASAP. There's a path down over here. Let's use that. I'll handle the fellas up here. Cover our backs. I'm sure I can handle them. I wouldn't be so sure. Let's all head down. We're stronger together. Whatever you say, leader. Let's keep... Let's kick some ass. Oh my god. Is this like a... Oh shit. Oh, well, that's fun. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, can I trade? Yeah, I can trade still. He's, he's kind of like going berserk, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Okay. 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 Uh... So we're currently at where? So we have to keep going. Up here. But there's also... What is this? A rune? We really need to get to that chest. Oh wait! Maybe we can teleport there. Okay, we'll figure stuff out. Ah, oh, there's a chest up here too. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh my god, Haka is the enemy. Haka, don't touch us. Okay. Let's save up, and I'm sure this is gonna be a tough fight in terms of like me trying to get an item. Honestly, I would tell you guys, I think clearing every single fight is easy for me. 
but trying to get items because like that's one of my my <laughs> my, my my downfall is basically I'm making it hard for myself but you know what let's do it anyway victory condition defeat Tengu Haka oh my gosh Ribs, thank you so much for the gifted I appreciate it so much thank you you got a free gift Mashi you better say thank you Okay, so we gotta defeat Haka or we let Shinri talk to Haka. You Yo, you two all right down there? Uh, no, not really. Hang in there. We're coming to get you. You might want to hurry before Haka gets to us. Oh my god, he is going insane. Is he resisting? I don't think he'll hold on for too long. We gotta figure something out fast. Thank you so much! <laughs> Hello, Saku! Thank you so much for the raid! I'm playing uh, Protostar Twilight. I'm also um, debugging. Uh, well, I'm also like picking up bugs for the game. And I'm putting some notes on my notepad. Currently, I have three items right now in my notes. But yeah, um... I hope you guys have fun. I hope you had a good stream, Saku. What were you up to? Um, let's see. We'll try to. It's gonna be difficult. But I'm gonna try it out, anyways. Alright. Who should I send? Shinri doesn't have much movement. Altair does, and so is Axel. Let Okay, so the room is got a couple more. Okay. Am I not supposed to do something with the room? Or maybe I need to step on the on the boat. Okay, I need, maybe I need to do that boat. Okay, hold on. Ah shit.
journals right now. Bleeding, corruption. That's cool. Okay. That's fun. It's okay. He is strong. Shinri, help! Help is Shinri! Okay. Warp crystal. Warp crystal for where? This one. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Uh, can I seal his attack? The pentanine percent crit! Oh my goodness! Yeah, fuck that. I ain't touching that dude with a with a ten foot pole. Serious? He really wants us dead. Uh, guys. Uh, okay. Shinri, we we we, we need your help. You you know how both Hack and I have a hand that's discolored. Wait, really? How long has that been a thing? So? You've been guild members with this guy for so long and you don't even know that he had the discolored hand. Like, I think we've all noticed that they have a corrupted hand. What the hell? 
the sign contains secret corruption in his hand. It's different from the corruption we've been seeing in these crystals. It's fairly aggressive and requires external measures to suppress, hence the beads. Wait, so has he been able to mess up this whole time? I don't think so. This crystal seems to radiate some kind of energy that synchronizes with my own hand. I bet that's what turned Haka into the Stanker form. Like a harmony between two twisted counter melodies. So, what about you? What's up with your hand? That's... for another story. One that you don't need to worry about right now. Trust me. Bro? Okay, we got some flowers up here. Okay, we can talk to them too. Okay, they're battle. You seem pretty winded. Winded. Yeah. I'm fine. It's just like we've been chased during the scapes for a while now. Something about being the chaser is really making my legs legs unmotivated. For being for being a natural underground cave system, it's surprisingly spacious and extensive. It can make for a pretty sick race course. Um, I don't think that should be something that you should be thinking about, battle. You could probably fit the trade in these tunnels. Wait, I've got it. Let's take let's get the train to take our axe whenever we want. Like own um, a train? A tempest train? I don't think the guild could sign off on something like that. Why not? I've heard rumors that my rival ringmaster has one, and I will not be one up by her. Polka mention! Polka mention! Polka mention! Let's fucking go! The moment she said her, I'm like, oh shit, that's Polka. Let's go. Let's get our buffs. Because I think this guy is fucking crazy. Hello? Okay, um... Yeah, whatever. Haka... Uh, Axel, uh... Oh my goodness! Stop, 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 stop! Stop, 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 Oh my god, how can I fight this dude? Seal attack? 84 crit? Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe we can run ar ring around the rosy on this one. It's fine. No need to panic. Just need to keep going up, keep going up. Nar! You're gonna die! Shinri, run! Oh my god. Yeah, it is dick and balls. Oh shit. That's not good. Oh man, this is gonna be so fucking bad. Uh-oh. At least we need to preserve Shinri though, that's a thing. Ah, shit. Haka, please don't... Don't do it, Haka! I wish we could like... Keep him stay still. Well, we can't. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. It's either Axel gets hit or Fleon. And I think he might target Fleon. Uh, Fleon's, um, attack... Wait, hold on. Fleon is currently, uh, Construct Mad. Which seals an attack, but I'm not sure if it's effective because that doesn't really... I've never seen it sealed at all. Um, battle. We need to protect battle, so I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna put him here. Uh, yeah. Okay, he's going for Fleon. Yep. Yeah. Stop. The fact that he didn't attack us is lucky enough. Let's fucking go. We need to get to this part. Okay. 2.45 Papa 40. Third expedition day 12. 
few days have turned into seven. We should have been warned by those shifting earth sounds on the first day here. The dungeon is a changing maze. The path seemed like a straight shot to get to the end. But each cavern can change order and new ones appear as well. We haven't seen the entrance cavern since the first day. I started keeping detailed notes and maps of each cavern. And I'm glad I did since we were able to identify the same can caverns. We have not identified how the, mechan the mechanism for the cavern switching works, however. Another note of great concern is the crystals that grow in this dungeon. They are simply unusual. They are similar to the crystal found far north. They cause physical and mental changes to people who touch them. We are lucky we brought an opposing crystal type with us. I fear if we don't find the end to this dungeon in the next few days, though, we will run out of opposing crystals. The crystal removal from my guild mates completely pierced them physically, but there is a mental toll left behind it, it seems. The monster of this dungeon spawns from the crystal clusters. I have named them crystal beasts based on this observation. They are animal-like, but have, but have a bit more aggressive intelligence. Larger crystal beasts command the smaller ones, as they are a commander on a battlefield. They do not spread crystallization, however. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, uh, the next part is the, the chest here, which we really need to start doing. Run, now. Okay. If he's not gonna get close, I guess I'm gonna leave it here. Okay. Oh, here, where is Alter going? Maybe again? Yeah. Okay, um... Okay. I think it's okay to use the path as long as, like, Haka is not going, like, towards the, the units, I guess. That's what I'm worried about. This guy has, like, nearly a, a perfect crit, and that's what I'm afraid of. He's healing himself for sure. Alright. Okay. Uh... Hell no. Fuck that. Bye, Hapa. Bring our other rosy time. Get the chest. Okay, and seems he's really far. I don't think he would art aggro. So I'm gonna go let Vesper take uh take the slime. Okay, there we go. No more monsters. Uh we do need to stay on the uh, crystals at least so we heal. Let's get him near. 
so we don't attack him, I guess. Like, we just have to, like... Self-defense, okay? Self-defense. Tempest, your friends, not prey. A flash of familiarity broke the haze of rage that had swallowed Haka whole. Not prey? Tempest? Flock? Not prey? Rock? Oh my god, he's so cute when he's stupid like that. A sense of relief spread throughout the group, seeing Haka drop his fighting stance. Yes, Haka. Flock. We are your flock. You're safe. With flock safe. Flock safe. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> With rush of adrenaline and power having run out, Haka fell into Shinri's open arms. A momentarily peace spread over the party before quickly being broken by a monster's snarl. We need to move now, before we get overrun again. Where are we going? Where were we? Where were we? Where we were earlier seems safe. God dang it. The monster seems attracted to the pit and crystals. Sounds good. Shin, you want some help carrying Haka? Are you good? I'll be fine. He's so light. I can barely feel the difference. Thanks for the offer, though. The group returned to their original position without incident, peering down at the carnage below. They're all infected with those crystals turned into a mindless zombie. I really don't want to end up like that. Deciding to lighting... To lighting things up, Battle put on an exaggerated smile and reached into his pocket. Good thing we're immune to it, thanks to this handy dandy magic crystal. Ah, Phantom, no! As Battle held the crystal aloft, Phantom came down from his shoulder and tackled it out of his hand. No, bad dog! Phantom, why? We needed that. That's it. No dog treats for you for a week. Silence spread throughout the whole group as until Altair broke it with a strained, annoying smile. Oop! Nothing we can do about it. Let's just move on and try to get out of here. I see some light from the cave up there. I think I feel a breeze too. It might be the way out. Alright. Let's head out then. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. The group ascended towards the light and found themselves in a large abandoned hall. End of Act 6. That was pretty good! <laughs> oh my goodness. So far, the game is being swimmingly with just a bit minor um it's not like game breaking like oh it's drover kind of thing but i will be presenting the um the notes that i found from act zero to act two i mean to act seven though act seven didn't have anything or didn't have any issues at least so for now um 
it's really fun. I think everybody did a wonderful job. Big kudos to the team who did work on Protostar Twilight. Uh, so I will be continue continuing act the remaining act tomorrow, or maybe yeah, maybe tomorrow. Depends on the schedule, but definitely uh, it'll be the same time. Hopefully, around eleven a.m. Or if there will be a uh, a schedule issue, I guess I'll definitely reschedule it and let everybody know. But for now, um, I guess that's it for Protostar Twilight. Just to make sure I have to say that again. So, um... Yeah! So guys, thank you guys so much for wa for watching, I guess. Like, I hope you guys also had fun watching it. And you guys actually have, like... You know... Um... Have this itch to play the game. I did pin the link up above if you guys want to try out the game please check out tactical elysium itch.io it's free there's no um any additional fees and the team does uh update any bug fixes all in all as fast as they could but for now um i guess thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you again next time bye bye go play the game that was absolutely wonderful. But for now, I have other things to do. And I guess I'll definitely let everybody know when I'm gonna be streaming. And also, I guess... What else? Honestly? I need to make a group order as well, I guess, for um, being stuffed ice. Wait, maybe we can raid somebody. Do you think someone's streaming right now? Oh, Nocturnal is streaming The Last of Us. Can we even raid him? I'm not even sure. Can we? Oh my god, we can! <gasps> we can raid Nocturnal! Okay. Okay, you guys. Uh, don't say anything, okay? Just be kind, okay? Don't make any fuss. Don't make any ruckus. And have fun at Nocturnal's uh, stream. Bye-bye!